Hello one and all, and welcome back to Catalysts of Chaos. Join us as we once again venture into the magical world of Eden. Now, before we dive back in, let us once again introduce our band of plucky adventurers. Firstly, we have Hendo, who will be playing Lucille. Well, 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 what have we got here? Ooh, it's a couple of miscreants breaking the law. Now you boys got your permit? No? Oh, that's real unfortunate like that is. You see, now we can do this the easy way or the messy way. You could offer me a little something to make me forget that I ever saw yous. Or I could take your dickhead mate's dagger that he's trying to draw all stealthy-like and shove it right up your ass before running you in. Yeah, that's right. Put it away real slow. Really, really slowly. Wise decision, boys. Huh? Me? Nah. Constable Lucille Inglebrook. Don't you fucking forget it. Gah, will you look at the time? Seems me and Princess Sparkles here got an appointment over by the Eastern Gate. I'll catch you guys later, eh? Next, we have Haley, who will be playing Azula. Good morning. My name is Azula. I am an eighth elf who grew up in the upper echelons of society. We had slaves, like many, uh, but we treated ours kindly. Others in our country did not. I joined a group of like-minded rebels, and uh, after a violent protest, I was banished from Vendaria. I found direction in becoming a champion for Zanbeare, known for honor, justice, and defending the weak. I can be serious when it comes to protecting the vulnerable of society, but I also have a playful side which I've had to suppress most of my life because of my upbringing. Luke will be playing Kakran which leads nicely into Veronica or V, who will be playing Kara. I am the chosen one. You, you want more. That's fair and completely understandable. I am on an expedition to experience this world so I can lead our people to their rightful glories. I mean, who wouldn't want to follow these glorious green glistening goblin glutes? Oh, um, this, this is my baby sister. She also helps. Baby, you're two minutes older than me. Best two minutes of my life. <sighs> I am Kara, sister to Kakran, the chosen one. Firstborn male of the Burnt Sands tribe. I have the honor to be born second. It is my job to protect him on his path to glory. I must be strong. I must be smart. And I must... Remember to pack the snacks, otherwise him and Floxy will get very hangry. Oh, you haven't met Floxy? She is my familiar, my other, other half. A beautiful flying fennec fox that travels with me everywhere, hiding under my floppy wizard's hat when she wishes to nap. <sighs> Lucky bitch. Now, without any further ado, let the chaos commence remembering things wrong like a crazy old person well i mean you are a crazy old person so hey, hey, hey. i am far from a person <laughs> well, they are technically yours no no they're yours but now i have two it's just for when one decides to crap out both yeah. of which were once yours <laughs> so we got 17 on this one and four on that one however 13 on that one and 18 on that one. They seem balanced. Well, four and 18, that's pretty balanced. Yeah. As long as it's not four, four, five, four, six, six. Hey, on five. a D6, those are pretty good rolls. That's true. <laughs> so it hasn't betrayed me as badly as my own dice did. Right. One, one, <laughs> one. <laughs> Fine, don't worry about it. It was very what funny. Possibly, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm so good. Lucille doesn't know. She doesn't remember. Unfortunate, really. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, it does give her a valid alibi, so if Turner ever asks her what happened to the harp, what harm? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that is something, because she won't remember any of that. Whatsoever. See, you went and sold it to the runesmith. 
What the hell are you talking about? What's a runesmith? You will know what a runesmith is. You've been runes. there again since you were non-drunk. I might just assume that he's a dwarf that hits things with a hammer. Damn fair. The rat might convince me that it's just a dwarf who hits things with a hammer. <laughs> just a standard dwarf. Doesn't have any magic. Just nope. Just pull out that Doesn't striker. Want a gold, is his name Smith? Rat. <laughs> <laughs> rune his first Smith. name is Rat. His last name is Smith. He has a rune. Therefore, here. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. So it was the morning, or it was night. It was morning. early morning-ish, probably around eight, nine o'clock, something okay. like that. Someone spent the entire night researching things, things. and they didn't get enough sleep because someone because blew somebody woke them up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Floxy that woke her up with me. Yeah, well, technically it was Floxy because you were being an idiot. Uh, so all, all I heard there was technically it was Floxy. Good job done. Uh, I am technically correct. The best kind of correct. Yeah, the you need to get one of those little cloaks that only comes down to about here. Ah. Only. <laughs> so. What's the plan? Do you have a plan? Is there any kind of competent thought running through anyone's heads? Or is it just mm, missy shiny rock? Well, I thought we were going to go get the shiny rock. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I see it is just mm, Misty Shiny <laughs> Rock. Can you do your voice correctly? Uh, Hello, my name is Azula. I'm from Vandria. I think. I, I forget worship. which one is which. Zonbiranus. Zebra Bananas. You see, we talk like this because you're old. I'm I am old for them. <laughs> and I'm old compared to them. Yep. And yet they're old compared to me. Age things yeah. in these games. Yeah, about the same age. And the rat is old compared to everyone. Rats don't live this long. Not well, normally, no. It's fine. I know CPR. I can live as long as it needs. How old is Princess? Old yeah. enough. What's it to you? Thirty-seven. <laughs> That's ah. enough for a rat. So how long do rats usually live? Oh, like a year or two. That's it. Oh dear. I thought they lived No, not to you. Rat. Ah. Rats. Well, they exactly. can probably live up to maybe five or six years. Oh, okay. Your regular, everyday rat that you get from the pet shop, you've been the last for about two years. Oh, okay. All right, well, there you yeah, go. On average. The more you know. Mm. If you freeze them, they last a little longer. Yeah. I was going to say, it depends how long it takes you to hit, hit them. Well, this one is the size of a dog, so quite a while. A small I see dog. You've been a to, small dog. I see you've been to Townsville recently. Yes. A small dog. I will hurt you. There will be pain. Like three washing machines stapled together. So she's probably about the size of a Jack Russell. Yep. Where is? Quiet. Oh, no, the what? Sorry. My notes. My notes are on a. Attachment. Uh, bag in the, yeah. the things Absolutely. in my bag. Yeah. Um, like, where are my notes? Yeah. So, we uh, already got in directions. I have the unboxing. Follow that path. And also got instructions that there were no known major enemy esque things that in the area. That is incorrect. <laughs> I said major, other than the birds the bird and the thing that was, that was in the. Cliff or cave, etc. So aside from all the major threats, there are no major no. threats. That's not what she said at all. What'd she say? <laughs> I don't remember. What? It's been too long since we played. That doesn't mean I wrote those down. No, but it's still been too long since we played. Did you say you that that's not what she said? What did she say? I don't remember. I don't know, but it definitely wasn't that. It's not for me to remember. <laughs> Bubba, it's the Fae. Wait, don't look at me. I haven't got my character sheet. <laughs> I have this. I have this. Okay then, Ooh, are there any boss. major threats in the area? She said that there had been... Um, 
fight is appearing. Did she? Occasionally. Did. Yes. Down, oh. They'd go down the track and then they wouldn't come back. Oh. Sent the little sprites yeah. to where that waterfall thing was to investigate it and then they just wouldn't come back. Oh. Is that a long time? <laughs> but we wouldn't call that a major threat. I have no memory of that. Yeah, these things are basically just non-sentient lives that float around the place and get left in cages around the Yeah, jungle, that's why they're the called fairy lights. Or mansion. I don't know what it is. <laughs> palace? Whatever the word was that Azuli used to describe her domicile. Estate. Ah. Would probably be the correct So not just the building itself, but everything surrounding it. you got to light the path somehow. The land, the surrounds. Ah, yes. The trees look so sweet when they sparkle. Well, they do. I mean, the gold and silver leaves look delightful when there's full fairy lights through them. Just got to make sure you get someone to go out there and flick some sugar water at them every now and then. Yeah, just got to make sure that they don't just, you know, need to be replaced. Yeah. yeah. If they start to look it's a bit dim, expensive. just shake yes. the jar and they'll be right. <laughs> you make sure you put holes in the top. Yeah, exactly. It's essentially like a, um, Turn them a down, glow stick. Turn them right way up. Recharge them. Yeah, like a glow stick. You just sort of like crack it, shake it, should be right. Except turn it this way, it goes meow. Turn it back, it goes meow. A lot higher pitch, which I can't do. Meow, meow. <laughs> That's about as good as I'm going to get. Nice. I can do that. All right, Haley, you mm -hmm. good? Mm hmm. Is voice good? Pardon? Do you need to do your voice? Can you give my breath so you won't see it too? Maybe. I'm doing a lot. Maybe! Well, does Don't your name like consist? This. Unless you're the Duchess of York. My name is Azula. And are you princess or demon? <laughs> Don't answer that. That's a trick question. I am neither. Ah, shit. Then what are you? That's true. I really think so. Uh, but I'm also a tall champion. Oh, what's that? Of Zen by I. That's very interesting. Is that close to Zan Bananas? No. No, they're distant cousins. I haven't heard of them. Okay. Zan by I. And I've heard a lot of them, so it's weird. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Vandria. <coughs> it's Kakarun getting in character. Oh, it's Lucille getting into character. And are you from poor people or wealthy? <laughs> I was raised in the upper echelons of society. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, thank you, demon princess. Oh, I have a and question. Oh, yes. What's a champion? Here's what uh, that it is. means that instead of the way of a cleric to worship my god, I choose to... Do it wrong. <laughs> ...physically carry out missions that sometimes need a bit more uh, Smashy -bashy. <laughs> fighting involved. I was going to say, like a pack mule until you said the fighting part. Mm, yes. So, But clerics are very good in combat. They heal people <coughs> repetitively. Is that... Yes. Uh, more, we're more the front lines. I know a guy. He's Protect a bastard. From... Mm. I know a guy like that. He's a bastard. I've heard a very good frontline gorilla clerics too. This, would, this one's still a bastard. Why would you be a champion and not a cleric? So much better healing. You can still be a sword, hit things. More magic. Mm. I see that eye twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose if you're a cleric you can't necessarily let out the homicidal rage quite as often. <laughs> Clerics aren't ready. That's right, right? Depends on what you're a cleric Clerics of. Clerics aren't allowed to do that, are they? they again, depends, depends on, on who not. you're a cleric of. Doesn't back depend who you're a god <laughs> of. As and far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter. Pretty well, sure a cleric of crisis can let out the homicidal rage if they want. Well, look, if there's a crisis, who else do you want on your side? A cleric. And shit, she's got a point. <laughs> Alright, we good? We should find one of them soon. Perfect weather's good in a crisis. Yeah. But, <laughs> but no, he needs a holiday. Let's just leave him behind while we go and hunt undead. Aren't they your students? No, they're her mm. friends. Oh, they're no, both. When you say both, 
Was that both the students or friends? Friends, men as well as lovers. Mentor, well, they... No. Oh. Well, left as a sock, I only assumed. It's weird with um, yeah. ages. I've known them since they were little. Um, that wouldn't be difficult. Well, they look like they may be about twelve. <laughs> no, they're quite a few years older than that even now. Even with the beard. <laughs> I see what you mean. My brother, too, almost looks like he is 12. Not that old. Has he got a beard yet? I've got plenty of years left in me. <laughs> Not with the way you've been <laughs> acting, brother. Oh no, he's got them. He's using them up real quick. <laughs> They're in me. I gotta let them out somehow. <sighs> I'm not talking about your cheesy farts. Those that burn brightest burn shortest. And boy, is he going like the sun. <laughs> the candle that burns from all digits burns ten times as fast. Ten times as bright. Very yeah, good. Maybe. Fine. That's mm. not how lumens work. I don't know if I'd really <laughs> call him bright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Cool. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. So you I... tell us. Set the scene for us. Well, Cochran has just left the camp after being berated by his Pretty sure sister. I was kicked out. Not so much left. No. As no, you literally got ki- no. oh, sorry, you got staffed out. No, you're being Whack. berated and told to leave before something terrible happens. That's, that's big. And yeah. the other three of you are just sort of mulling around, waiting to see if anything else happens. Really. Well, we we went through all the questioning and the chain thing. Mm-hmm. And the... Like Jenny's just finished Were there telling any the other story. questions that you had before you departed for anywhere? Did we have a direction? So we just, we just, we know where we're going. Mostly south. No. <clears throat> east. There's a path that leads off east out of the grotto that heads towards where the waterfall is. Ah, I thought it was a bit further south than where we are. Cool. Yeah. Right. South leads you back the way you came. And were there any clues on yeah. where to find the queen? We discussed that and we said we needed someone to who would be capable of looking at that chunk of black metal that yeah. we found. Which is probably going to be... If only you had some kind of smith that was, also knew about runes. That, I can't <laughs> that you were very anyway. good friend. Well, mm, wait, 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 I know a guy. <laughs> Leonard, <laughs> Leonard, he can direct us to the right guy. Well, sounds better than Henry because he's a fucking asshole. He's a fucking asshole. Alright, so we need to take this to Vincentiv. Um We need to work out what we're doing with that sack of dirt you've got. <laughs> I got a jar of dirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so um, oh, yeah, that sack of dirt. Yeah. yeah. Also, we've got a lot of other stuff from the gardens, and I have no spells, so going up the mountain will be fry. interesting. If Just get a frying pan that way you can cast iron. <laughs> Is that the way the mountain? Like, I've got my low-level spells, and I've got a shock and grasp, and I've got my stick, but I don't have that. We were potentially going to need to check on the horses, just to make sure they hadn't gone back to town. And by town, I don't mean the mountain city. I mean the town is in the other side of the freaking country. Yep. It was a decent place for us to camp. On the way home. So... Scary bird. Scary bird. Very scary, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Personally, I'd be more inclined to go back to town, talk to Vincentive about this before we go up the waterfall, because I reckon if they are disappearing, there's a good chance that there might be extra information there. We have a lot of shit on us. <laughs> How long's the trip from here to town? To get back to town? Probably about a day and a half. Okay. To get to the water for it, maybe 20 minutes. Oh. It's literally like six, seven hundred meters up the path. If we oh, climb a tree, okay, we can no, never see. mind. Then maybe we can. You can't see it because the river twists a couple of times and there's like a lot of lush forest, but like Garwin's like flying mm-hmm. around and she's like, it's literally right there. Okay, we just leave our stuff here. He just left. That's right. That's a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. But I'm also not very big. <laughs> so I'm gigantic. Yeah, sorry, from the way we talked previously, I thought it was like 
a week away. For God, no. No, no, no. I thought maybe a few hours. The oh. water from the grotto comes from the waterfall. Uh, could you do us a favor? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Why would oh. you phrase it like that? I. Um, are you. I guess that depends on the price that you're willing to pay. There we go. Yes, do we talk about price up front first? Well, the price will Tell depend what on what you you're asking. Um, our horses are somewhere in the vicinity. Are you able to I uh, communicate with them? Is that something that you're able to do? I can do that. I don't speak to beasts, love. No? Okay. None of your brethren? Kin. 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 No, they have a queen, not a kin. Uh, no, they don't. Just Just think about it for a She's while. Your daughter? Yeah. If the queen is gone, then she is queen. No, she's princess regent. Cinemora might be able to help. I don't know that. <laughs> but you'd have to try and coax her out of a tree. Right. But mm, the horses will be away from this grove, I believe. <laughs> so that's going to not. That doesn't matter. Oh, no? No. Okay. See, hang on a second. Drop my pack, open up, reach in. It's like, ah, it's doing a nervous travel bar. Mm-hmm. It's basically a Mars bar. <laughs> okay. Like that. For coaxing? Yes. Right. <coughs> uh, wait. How long ago was Cinnamore in a very state of distress? Now? Oh, you know, like 10 minutes. About 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't want to push it. It'll be alright. I was just wanting to check on them and perhaps get them to come to us, but it's not a necessity. I was just seeing if The it's reason you left the horses there because they couldn't come any further in. Yeah, alright. I was just checking them. Alright. Not as nice as you thought it would be. That's no, fucking amazing. <laughs> right. Right. Um. <laughs> Well, that's, that's, that's all I had. Okay. Mm-hmm. I see. So, is everybody else fine to... Are we able to leave our things here? While we go to the waterfall? I mean, I'm more than happy to take anything that you want off your hands. Haha! <laughs> yeah. Phrasing! Uh-huh. What's even more adept with their kind, you know? Um, no, Basically, no, this if you is... leave anything here, it's theirs. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> she just <laughs> stares at you. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to. Damn it, Lucille is trying to make her learn the hard way. Well, we worked really hard on that. She's, she's travelling with us, I'm thinking she'd learn it the hard way as it goes. Well, I kind of have all the plans and stuff, you know. Like, come back later, but it Well, we can, because Kakran is no what? longer on... Plants. Yeah, you know, like herbs and such. Yeah, sure. Well, I, I took a dandelion, I think. <laughs> yeah. That was a dandelion seed. Yeah, and some flowers and other stuff in sacks with dirt in it that were very obviously hey, stacked all around here. I replanted more than I took. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know what it will take, but that's not my problem. <laughs> well, it's simple. Kakran is no longer in stretcher. We sit all of that stuff on there and make Kakran Carry the stretcher. It is the service for the community you were talking about previously. Good idea. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll let you tell him. Hi. Kakran. Wait, are we all good to go? Yes. Thing is, look at the map. You guys are going right. I'm all the way down. <coughs> you... I think we had to go south to get out. No, I was yeah. east. You went east. east. Out of the grotto, there's a way through. Ah. That's why I was shoved, that's why I went! No, we didn't move. We went we south. Was south was the way that we came in. <laughs> Correct. Um, can I do a recall knowledge on the disappearing <coughs> Fae up at the waterfall? Any the information they gave us just to. Sure! By all means! Like, what on earth could it be? 
That is a 22. What are you using for recall knowledge? My bardic knowledge. Like, it's my recall knowledge skill. Lawmaster. Sorry, lore master. Your lore master, yeah. okay. Yeah. Sorry, when I say general recall knowledge, lore master just counts as recall knowledge. Everything. Okay. Yeah. Nothing really fits specifically. It could be a hundred different things. Cool. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. Hands. I haven't seen that movie. Is this a labyrinth? No. Isn't it? Nope. Uh, oh. Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah, that's what I meant. They're different movies. I know, but... I haven't seen them. <laughs> anyway. One's a children's movie, and one has a guy who looks a bit like Hitler. <laughs> uh, right, cat run. <coughs> cat run. What? Uh, we need you to get the stretcher and bring it along with us. Since we were the ones who carried you all the way this way, we think it's your turn to carry the load. Can't. Why not? Not allowed back in. He's got a boy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the stretch out and grab what I can to where he is. Okay, yeah, yeah that's fine. It's direct. Okay. It wouldn't take you long to pull no. the stretcher over. There you go. Now it's your turn. But you're doing such a good job. <laughs> For clarification, I'm just going to assume that the sack of tainted dirt is also on there too. We're taking that with us out of the grotto. Yeah. Okay. We weren't going to leave it there. We're taking it because it's full of the metal obsidian bits that we could then hock. Yeah, about a mile's worth. Hmm. Yeah. No, it was more than that. The vial's worth is just what's on top that we took back in it. Oh, that was what you. Yeah. That's, there's a Filtered lot more out. through the dirt. Yeah. That was just off that little bit that we were picking pieces out, not the full sack of dirt that Lucille's like, no fucking let's just take the whole dirt. Yeah, take all the topsoil. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Nothing else we can make some very awful flowers. Delicious. It'd be interesting to see what kind of flowers you can grow out of that. Which it's a big ass seed. <laughs> Come to earth. Okay, got a giant dandelion seed and plonk. Now nah, let's get a seed of that giant carnivorous plant. No. <laughs> Because you killed it already. <laughs> so it's easy to harvest if it's dead. Touche. That's right, I've still got that magic he has pig. A point. Hmm. Wasn't it a hammer? Yes. Is it a hammer? It's a hammer. <sighs> yeah, that was a really bad one. That it is. Mm -hmm. These are breaking rocks. <laughs> so, Tuck Run now has a sled full of stuff. Mm -hmm. You're all ready to go. Mm -hmm. Are you heading back or are you continuing forward? To the waterfall, it's only 20 minutes. Sure, what could possibly go wrong? Well, the fact that you haven't slept, we're all slightly worn out still. Uh, let's be very cautious. <coughs> so, okay. I'm right back in now. I think you just might have to skirt the edges. Yeah, just skirt the edges. Through the jungle, this is fine. <laughs> With the, with the stretcher. Well, to be able to get across the river, you're going to have to go through the grotto. Because the only way across the river is through the grotto. Stuff him into the sack. I know a way around this. No, he can just go around clockwise instead of counterclockwise. Oh, my. Mm. That's a solid cliff on the very top right hand side. He's just going to go clockwise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. No worries. Okay. Um, just. Is he allowed him to just. Over and, leave. and then back. Well, I never banished him. No. Yeah, that was you. <laughs> yes, but I did it for our preservation so you didn't have to when things get even messier. I'm. I'm asking. He's allowed it. Okay, we'll supervise him. For now. Although, if he messes up again, I start taking things. You've got a second day, you can have. No, we don't. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to take that off your hands. Nope. Uh, but it's in the stretch of my hands. It's... They're smarter with their words. <laughs> <laughs> you, person that never uses his brain, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I use it to hit things sometimes. I can. Your brain. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> Ooh, 
like uh, bounce across the log with a stretcher. <laughs> Help you across. Oh. Yes. All right. So, getting so across good. that log is going to be a little bit of a thing. So, can I get Cochrane to roll an athletics test? And we're helping. You're going to help. Yeah. Uh, so anyone? Well, it'll only be one person that can help. So who's going to help? I'm standing really far back. Okay. Fair. I'll say you since you helped him get to the like took the stretcher to him. I don't know how to do this. Okay. <laughs> it was that button. There it is. What was it? Athletics. All right. So. You roll an athletics test? Yeah. I'm doing the same, am I? Just wait up. Because we need to see if she's going to help you or make it worse. So not being trained in things. <laughs> ah, excellent. Yeah. Would you like me to help, help instead? My armor does make things rather tricky. Yes, your armor. <laughs> My armor makes me minus two. <laughs> oh okay, yeah, good. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, so you see Azula will pick it up and then try and start bouncing across the thing and you can just see that she's going to have a hard time. I take, I take two steps back just to watch this dirt fall in. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my hero point. That was a nat one. I'm going to use my hero point. That didn't take long at all. Oh, yeah. oh, God. I'm so glad oh. to see that we're already fucking this Good. Let me just whoop. That's the wrong way. There you go. I'll take that off for you. <laughs> no worries. Away we go. You're so good at those natural one in real life. Um, also, the, you, you, you're not carrying that dot over that with the stretcher. I'll walk it around the tree if you want. Here, Azula, walk that around the tree so it can't fall I in I can there. do that. <laughs> Cowards. We don't I'm want the... They didn't just take the entire stretcher around the tree. Because <laughs> this is quicker. <laughs> because I thought of that earlier, I was like, nah. That way. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a 13. 13? Alright. You're, you're not exactly helping the situation, but you're not making it any worse. Uh, left! Left! You're on the left! My left! Just just go straight back! <laughs> Alright. Roll that? your athletics. Mine. Um, mine, I believe, is plus 8. I'm not sure, though. That sounds like something it's you should be eight. relatively good at. Plus 8, so six to 17. 17? Okay, so even with your younger sister slightly holding you back, ever so slightly, you are able to get across the beam without any trouble. It's hop, skip, then jump! She does make it a little bit easier because it doesn't get caught at any point along the way. Yeah, complain all you want, next time we'll make Azula do this. And I can complain all I want! <laughs> <laughs> um, so in the amount of time it takes them to get her, I you guys have walked the, the entire way around and have appeared on the other side. <laughs> yep. Outstanding. <laughs> but with that, you guys are on the other side, ready to go. Okay, it's so much worse than you exactly mm -hmm. what I was doing. No worries. We continue on. Yep. So, the trail continues out of the grotto on the other side and follows the river along as it continues basically heading further in towards this I don't know, mountain ridge sort of thing you're looking at. Mm -hmm. And it continues for about probably 10 minutes before all of a sudden it just comes to a cave entrance. That's not 20 minutes. That's not a waterfall. No. Did they mention something about caves? Yes. Well, there's usually caves behind waterfalls, so maybe this is the, the end of the cave that's behind the waterfall. So we go through the cave and we come out at the waterfall. No, no, no. I remember them saying something about they weren't going to warn us of what's in the cave if we weren't friendly to them because there's something dangerous in this cave. I remember something about this. They said they weren't 100% sure what it was. Mm -hmm. It could just mean we want to see what you do. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that, but that's really not what we would do. Oh, <laughs> if they're being polite. <laughs> <laughs> they're listening to us right now, by the way. Just, I don't know, toss a torch in. But yeah, he was basically just standing there. Hook! <laughs> Where's the river go? Continues along. You have a map, right? Yep. Make sure we remember where this place is. Yeah, it's right there on the map. It's right here. That's good. Maybe we should, like, Points just... Yeah! <laughs> Maybe we I should sideskirt the cave, like, just... Oh, wait, there's a river. So you look off to the right to try and side skirt around, you basically see like a couple of large ancient looking trees and a solid cliff behind them. 
There's no way the sides get it around to keep following the river. Hmm. Oi, Sparky. I was just about to say, hey, Princess Sparkles. What are you talking about? You've got one that can fly. Yeah, but why risk your own when you've got someone else's? So. She's an old lady. Also, Veronica's trying not to do the thing where she wants to do absolutely everything. <laughs> Other people can have their moments too, David. I'm just trying to remember that myself. And I'd be quiet after just walk in and have a look, but I'm pretty sure that's a terrible idea. Is it? Is it? I'm trying to be helpful. In real life. Okay then, Foxy goes over to Princess Sparkles. Rock <laughs> <laughs> They've got a little system going. Yeah, just... Can you, can you see this? Can you guys do it? Where's the puppet? Let's see how it goes. Wait, alright. Eh, eh, eh. Oh crap. <laughs> it's meant to be after three. Okay. One, two, three. Eh. You win. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, asshole. <laughs> 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 well, that means you go. If the person wins, that means you have to do the dangerous thing. No, no, they won. They get to go. That's not. <laughs> Don't argue with the rat. <laughs> She's a princess, after all. She will defecate in your mouth while you sleep. It's not a threat, it's a promise. That's why I go in the tree. Up? Yeah, because everyone knows that rats can't climb. <laughs> <laughs> They're not in our sky kingdom, so... They're, they're very famous for... It's because rats can't climbing. fly! Climbing's different to flying! So they're supposed to be rock, paper, scissors, not... assholes. No, I've only got one, one thing on my scissors. Then I win. Yeah, which means you get to go. No, it means I get to pick. No, Off you go. No, it means you won, you get to go. Nope. That's not how this works. I win, so I choose. I choose to nap. I choose you. He's got you there. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Princess Sparkles has finally met her match. He's <laughs> like, I am gonna shit in your breakfast. Okay. <laughs> you don't eat breakfast, do you? I'm pretty sure. Damn it. <laughs> Isn't this a rat taunting a cat? You are its breakfast, we've already <laughs> shat in it, what's the difference? Uh, technically it's a fennec fox, so they're probably about the same size. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's right, they're fox. I just keep on match because there's a cat, never mind. Yeah, yeah, essentially they're probably about the same size. It's like, just like, just flies off the ground. Gotta catch my breakfast first. <laughs> Defecates on Did she just shit her own breakfast? No, I as in you've got to catch my breakfast to be able to shit in it. Because she can, like, just fly away with it. So what I'm hearing <laughs> is a challenge. challenge. <laughs> 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 a disgruntled squeaking. Just as it disappears off the forest. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Goes out the wrong way. It's like, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> oh, go to the cave, you tit. <laughs> where she's going in the cave? to sniff around the entrance. Okay. Not oh. into the cave, just... Does it smell like anything? Do it. Okay. It's like rock. Like just rocks. But odd rock. To like find rock. new rock, which new is rock. weird. Does that Ugh. rock have a cave She's never smelled it before. <laughs> so it's a fresh no. cave. Mm, no. No. Because there's old rock there as well, but there's a new rock too. That's all she knows. Without going inside, she won't know anything else. It's like, I don't want her to die. That seemed perfectly legitimate. Like, all right, knock <coughs> around, you're up. No. Don't know what point of the rat is, for sure, whatever. She said there's new rocks in there. And old rocks. What's the difference? All rot, I can't tell. She's got a weird accent. I can see the dark, it's fine. I can't. I can't hear in the dark though, so that's pretty good. I mean, everyone can hear in the dark, can't they? Not if you're I, deaf. I, I was going to say. Okay. So. You can hear better if you're in the dark and you can't see. 
You're gonna say you can eat better if you tap when you. <laughs> so you're going inside? Sure. I'll, I'll go and uh, <clears throat> reconnoitre the area. You do have the best stealth out of all of this. I've also got a big fucking cart on apparently lugging around. Well, not you know where that is. Oh, look, it is rot. Or are they stone people? They look like statues. Good. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, as soon as the map popped up, like, good, I'm gonna fucking die now. <laughs> Two of them are laying down in a very odd looking pose and the other one's kneeling. Almost. Give, give it a bit of a shake, see if it's... Seems solid. Like it's, it's, it's like fused to the ground? No, it's not fused to the ground. See, like you can rock it back and forth and it moves. So you're gonna go from paralyzed to petrified. Yeah, fuck. Good. I... I'm very certain I've never seen anything like this before. So they're probably just statues. It's a fucking fairy cave. Who knows what they it decorate is. with? Yep. All right, cool. Don't suppose there's anything shiny on them. Their statues. You could always have a look. No, oh, you have to roll for stuff, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Normally, one would have to roll for things. Yes. Perception. Three. Three. Hell yeah. Perceptive little boy I am. Um, with an eleven. With an 11. 8 plus 3 is 11. Well, I mean, you have a look over <laughs> the things. You don't find anything shiny. Yeah. Nothing sticks out to you as yeah, it's, obviously they're shiny. Just, they're just oddly detailed statues. Very detailed. Although you do notice a couple of cracks and spots that, you know, People like to hide things in cracks, right? I mean, how, how thick are these <coughs> cracks? About the thickness of a claw mark? No, 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 no. Like when I say cracks, I mean like you know, like like where the one's like kneeling and he's oh. got a sword in front of him. You can see the elbow where it's cracked and sprayed. Ah. So you're joint. kneeling with a sword, you say? Yep. Is the sword also stone? Yep. Oh, that's a shame. As all well. I've watched that. All right. Anyway, I'll uh, have a look around the cave. Okay. But you can see what's in front of you. Yeah, but there's a bunch of paths. Oh, uh, paths. There is Dead ends, one path. There is. Um, well, you can see a couple of like alcoves and then one that seems to disappear into darkness. So oh. you're like, one of them probably goes a bit further in. When you say disappear in darkness, is that because it's, it goes around a corner? Yeah, it goes around a corner and you can't see any further in. I'll poke my head, just my head around the corner. Yep. So. Wherever that actually is. Why is it in there for so long? Is it just you didn't check it? That's what you'd see. I think it's called exploring. And again, it seems to disappear off to the right and the left. Um. Uh. Same sort of thing though, where it's like, you can see like, you get that feeling like where you can see the stone and then it, the stone, it has that look where it just sort of curves a bit, but you can't see any further. So obviously it's continuing <coughs> around further into this cave. It looks pretty empty from here. <laughs> what did he Cuthern say? Cuthern wouldn't actually be that stupid. Bye. <laughs> oh no, I can't leave. Ah! Y you know. I just got petrified. That Cuthern <laughs> wouldn't be that stupid. <sighs> I would like to point out the minus one wisdom score. <laughs> wisdom, not intelligence, though. No, no, no. So wisdom is the one that would point out that in a cave with stone statues, it would probably not be best to just yell out. No, I mean to just be yelling out in a cave that continues on going back. I'm not going any further. Fuck you guys. <laughs> You've also got to remember this is the whole reason he is out here is to gain experience. Yeah. He's never been in this situation before. Yeah, not many if... people have been in a statuary gun. <laughs> never even heard of one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll head back out <clears throat> if I can. I miss you. Nothing's happened else. so far. Okay, yeah. I'll head, oh, whatever, I guess my computer. I'll head back out. <clears throat> I think this one's more up your alley. 
Okay. Is there religious symbols? I don't know, but you're fancy and rich. There's some nice statues in there. What? What? Is it safe for us to just keep going? Ah, uh, there's nothing that I can see. Okay then. So we have to go in the cave to go to this waterfall, or we just have to go past the cave. Well, there's no way past the cave from what you can see. Yeah. Like there's no way to continue further. Oh really? From here. Yeah, we have to go through the, it. The path that you were on, that they told you to go, leads to the cave. Yeah. And there's no way to continue along following the river. You know what'd be really helpful? Uh, something that could fly up and have a look around. It's a cave. How high are you gonna fly? Alright. Floxy. I don't care if you want rock, paper, scissors, asshole, okay? Why is there an asshole? Okay, of course, because you're playing with Princess Sparkles. Okay. That's the only one she can do. We'll pull it over the here so everyone can see. I don't want to be in there. Alright. Okay, Floxy, can you fly up and over and check which way the river goes so we can... This is all that you can... You'd be sort of standing half in, half out the front of the cave, so you'd be able to see just this front bit. You'd be able to see those couple of statues. I guess I'd get out my ever-burning torch and yeah, press the button. Okay. That doesn't look natural, but okay. Yeah, Floxy, you fly up. It's dim light for 30 feet, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. Make sure I don't yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, the same, it was the same stats it's as a green. torch. Everybody torches have green flames, pretty That's sure. Pretty badass. It was this, yeah, it was the same stats as a normal torch, yeah. except it doesn't go out and it's green. And you can dump it in water and it doesn't go out. Mm-hmm. That's badass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I'd remembered I'd had this earlier, I would have used it. Oh, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, it. Radioactive. Yeah. Um, Floxy's gonna fly up to follow the river around and see if it comes out the other side of the cave. Mm-hmm. Have a look. So she flies up and around, mm-hmm. follows the river. She does find the waterfall that you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Doesn't find anywhere down the bottom where the cave flies out. Mm-hmm. But she sort of, you know, circles up around the top. She finds above like at the top of the waterfall there's like a bit of a plateau at the top of the cliff and she does find what appears to be some kind of collapsed like sort of exit of a cave entrance or something like that okay can she see any way up like somewhere we could climb rather than going through this weird cave like not unless you guys brought very a lot of climbing gear like pins and all that that you could basically yeah. ram into this I have some, I have like 10. So you could ram into the cliff face and basically scale all around. I've got whatever yeah. would have been in the standard adventuring kit. Yeah. I've actually got some of those pins. Could we just Not go for that, but up the river itself? Like, could you just swim up the river? No, because we're it's down a cliff. It's pretty fast. Swim up the river and the waterfall. Yeah. Oh. We're not salmon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Working on it. I have an idea. I head back over to these statues. Yeah. I pull out my water flask. Yep. I took a bit of water on it. Yep. From the fairy fucking the the, the, the stone thing. becomes wet. Yeah. But nothing else seems to happen, unfortunately. Well they're not made out of that explosive rock. Good to know. Right. And about five minutes later she comes back. Mm-hmm. Um, I let these guys know. Or basically Floxy bless all the little of us know. I head back up to the corner and have a look. So it was all that you know about the um, statues, right? Yes. Basic. What do you make of these ones? <sighs> and why is this one falling down? I think what? he's laying down. Um. He's just tired as all. Well. He <laughs> <laughs> just needs a nap. <laughs> what have a check would this be? A medicine check? Crafting? Um. <laughs> I mean, what are you checking for? Um, what are you I'm trying to find out? I am... A craft what? check to see how well made That's they are. Said, yeah. I was real close to pushing it out and trying to smash it. It's more like a perception check if I had seen this type of... Perception would just be for general observations. 
right. if you want specific observations on a certain area that you you'd have to roll on a specific skill. I think I'll use your perception first yeah. to understand it a bit better before no worries. If I had to go into something. Roll a perception test. Nineteen. Uh, no, twenty. Twenty. Okay. <laughs> uh you're pretty sure either A, these were made by master craftsmen, mm. or they're not statues. Mm. The stonework is too good. And the thing that really clinches it for you is that as you're going along, you find on the one that's laying down, a piece of wood about this long that isn't stone that's clasped inside the stone belt. What do you mean it's inside the stone belt? So the entire statue is stone mm -hmm. and there's a belt on like the waist. Yeah. And inside the belt is a bit of wood about that long that's wood. I mean, that could be magic. drilled and tapped in right What's up? Magic. I heard magic. Magic? magic? Probably magic. That varies on magic. <laughs> no. That's what wands look like, right? I don't know. This Let me have a look. Is dangerous. Right there. Uh, there is something that can turn people into stone here. Well. <laughs> I grunt just like, what do you mean? It's fine. There are lots of things that can I suggest we get out and make a plan. See? Ah. What potential thing could it be? Yeah. Nature. Nature? Just to see if I know what any yeah, yeah, yeah. natural thing there might be. I would like to do religion on it. Okay. Uh, what is nature? 20. 20? Three things instantly come to mind. Cockatrice, Basilisk, Medusa. Right. They're the three that straight up off the top of your head. So Which goodness. ones are those potentially live in caves like this? Cockatrice and well, all three of them really. I was about to say. You're pretty sure it's not a cockatrice because you probably would have heard it by now. Which probably leaves the other two. Probably would have smelt chicken feathers or something like that. Don't basilisks eat stone? They all eat stone. Oh. Well, sorry, the Medusa doesn't. Sorry, the other two do. Yeah. Sorry, that's an out of character. Like, yeah. Right. Cool. So it's probably a basilisk or a Medusa. Okay. Detect magic. Uh, on the stick. Yep. Yeah, it's magical. Yeah, it's magical. Try and pull it out. The stick is. Yes. Okay. Well, I think we should leave the cave for now and make a plan now that we know that we're better what we're dealing with. <coughs> okay. Well, um. What do you do? Bag of flour. Bag of flour? Yep. Yep. Pocket set. Pocket set? Yep. What do you pockets handle? When we eventually run into them, obviously. Oh, okay, that's fair. Fun fact about flour. Get into a cloud, it's flammable. I like fire. <laughs> um, okay, can I... So it looks like magic wand from... Just yeah, it magic looks thing. like a magic wand, every other magic wand that you've seen. Can I? Yeah, but how I can... Just like it? you... Yeah, I try might it. might take a little bit of finagling, but you can probably get it out. Come on, roll your perception test. Yeah. Oops. Ah, uh, 14. 14. Uh, where? It's the cat. So, a cockatrice. So, you could have a thing you could probably just hold the belt with. Yeah, but could these people be brought back? I mean... <laughs> that sounds like a question for a cleric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, in fact, a question for a cleric. Okay, so... As you're standing where you are, Karkaran, and these guys behind you are trying to wiggle this... Well, you guys are, I'm keeping an eye out, because I said flee, and you guys are just staying there. You're like, the first Great. one to go. That's fine. <laughs> you start hearing this low hissing noise coming from further in the cave. I just... Well, if it's a snake in a cave, it probably doesn't like bright lights, right? 
I'll I'll do the classic light torch and stuff. There, there's snakes in here. Run! <laughs> ah, snakes! <laughs> it's a hissing. Oh. Question. In this one, are basilisks, basilisks lizards or snakes? Lizards. Okay. Eight legged. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say I've got a two out of three chance of being right, so I guess not. No, they're lizards. Oh yeah, they're hiss. Fuck, I've got two yeah, out of three like, chance. You know, like Could a Komodo dragon. dragon. Yes. Sort of thing. But yeah. I did. Well, I, with eight legs. But I did call out snakes, <laughs> which is Medusa, I guess. Yeah, well. They have snakes. How far are you throwing it? Uh, general direction of the hissing noise. Okay. No Although worries. in a cave, it'd be hard to tell. What uh, no, not particularly. No, it's coming from even in, in the cave. So we're going to say that you get it to about there. We literally talked about trying to make plans, buddy. Yeah, I'm scared of the snake when you guys make a plan. I've got the flower ready. He's got the torch. He would have heard us. You're right there talking yeah, about you guys are making. Oh, let's, I let's leave. I told you the best thing, because I know what the fuck that is. I'm like, there's a snake in the cave. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure there's snakes in the cave. and. I go about trying to get rid of the snakes. All okay. snakes don't live in caves. That's crazy talk. Oh, I think I basically light a torch and throw it into the, up the head. Yeah, just yep. if I can hear it and not see it, then I just lob you it. You can't see it. And I lob it past wherever I can see. Whoops. Whoops. Um, that, well, you'd currently have it. Oh, because there's a corner. Yep. Yeah, okay. it's, it's like the torch is currently yep, sitting no, there. That's, that's where you'd lob it to. But you can't see anything more than that, like there, because you'd have to go further up to be able to see down both the. How like tall is this cave? Oh, uh, decent I'd like you know. But I can see the roof. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can definitely see okay, the roof. Cool, cool, yeah, cool. yeah. Because you know, um, with your little finagling, you wouldn't be able to get it out. All right, we should leave while we make a plan. Yeah. Right. Azul is right. Kakran. Yeah, I'm coming. Retreat. Cool. Run away, run away, run away. Yes. Brave someone. Run away. Okay. With that, you guys all back out of the cave. Yes, please. Okay. While I was doing the wiggling, I yes. wanted to have like a look at the statue and while talking to Lucille about the, yeah, it's probably a cockatrice. Like it could be these things or that. Um, I do a recall knowledge. I got 24. Okay. Like with... Uh, Lucille, mm-hmm. Cockatrice, Basilisk, Medusa. Mm-hmm. You're pretty sure it's not a co- like, same as mm-hmm. Lucille, it's not a cockatrice you would have heard upon you. Mm-hmm. Um, those things are notoriously loud. Mm-hmm. Um, you'd also probably smell it, mm-hmm. same as what you came up with. Mm-hmm. Which basically leaves you with Medusa and a Basilisk. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Out of the two, you're leaning more towards a Basilisk because Basilisks are more common. Mm-hmm. Medusas tend to be more around the coast and in more temperate, not, not temperate, um, less cold. Yeah, less cold, more tropical climates. Mm-hmm. Cool. And more coastal. Yep. They tend to be, well, humans, but they prefer humans on boats. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Outside the cave. Yeah, this would be. A you guys have gone outside the yeah. cave at this point. So now we're just standing at the entrance. Um, so what, are you standing in the, the entrance side. or are you going to go back down the path a bit? Go um, back down the path a bit. Okay. okay. I'm going to step off to the side before I head down the path and just kind of look at the. I think the stone, dirt, whatever it is that's mm-hmm. out the front of this and check for claw marks or drags. Yep. Okay, that would be. That's a tracking check. That's a 17 on the die. 17. Tracky would be survival, yeah. Uh, I do believe it runs off survival. So that would be 24. Mm-hmm. 24. With the 24, yeah, you're definitely able to see they're older. It doesn't seem to go from the cave too much recently, which, I mean, given that there's two uneaten statues at the front door, yep. probably means that there's more inside that it hasn't finished eating yet. And <coughs> with have you given any information about what you were talking about your recall knowledge? Yeah, I, I imagine that this would be like okay. a conversation between With the two of us. you two talking to each other, you probably narrowed it down to, it's probably a basilisk <coughs> yep. at this point. Point out that mm. when they eat, their metabolism basically goes to a crawl. So basically when they eat something, they go into a sort of like a... <laughs> like, like Cerberus. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, 
Yeah. Food coma. Yeah, they essentially go into a food coma because they're eating rock. <laughs> and you would think their system would be set up for that, but it's kind of not. It's like, ah. Much <laughs> like the koala. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I eat this um, leaf, but there's nothing in me. I said leaf. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if it's got an abundance of food in the cave, it doesn't have to leave to hunt. Um, and if what the fairies were telling you as well, they've been sending you more food, so... Just little snacks every day. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So um, it probably hasn't needed to leave the cave in a while. Mm -hmm. So the tracks are old, but there are tracks out the front. Yep. I um, have a plan. Oh, no. Hold on a second. Let's get away from the door first. Yeah. <laughs> but before you have a plan, uh, there are a few different ways that one should fight a basilisk based off my memory. Mm -hmm. What are they scared of? The problem with... Well, they're not really scared of anything. Their biggest thing is they can turn you to stone. As exhibit A. Um, by looking at you, essentially. Looking at you in the eye or just looking at you? You have to basically make eye contact with them. What if I can't but it's see only them? for like a second, oh, me. and then it'll take hold. Like it, it'll, like slowly, it'll start to take hold. Yeah. And then if they make eye contact with you again, and it takes further hold, it'll turn you to stone. So it's like a two phase thing. <clears throat> what if I can't see them, but they can see me? Um, no, no. It has. To, so if you're looking at it, but it doesn't make eye contact with you, it doesn't like. It has to put intent into it. It's like a thing okay. it has to do. Yeah. Um, but it's you, more, as it, long as you're like tr actively keeping the way, like trying to keep your eyesight away from its eyes, it makes it harder for it to do it. So, you know, that's ah, something. It's just like, you blindfold, hunt prey. Oh. There it is. Boom. I was that would say, make we, you essentially we, immune to its petrifying gaze, but it just it would make to, it harder. It just has to step on me now, which is probably easier to do because I can't see it. Um, but yeah. Their main way of hunting is basically turn their prey to stone and then get to eat at their leisure. <laughs> Exhibit mm -hmm. cave. Yep. <laughs> Do they have any particular weaknesses? No. Cool. Do they like, breathe fire or acid or anything? No. Not that well. Because turning to stone wouldn't be enough. So there are rumors <laughs> of dracolisks, which are basically a hybrid between a dragon and a basilisk. Ooh. Yeah. That's the best of both worlds. Hell yeah. It's a dragon, they can turn you to stone as well. Pretty sure that's not this. It wouldn't be this. It's bad. There would be a lot more chaos if that this was a Dracolist. Pretty sure the fairies 20 minutes away would have noticed if it was a Dracolist. They'd all be dead by now. Yeah. Cool. What if you see a through something like your glasses on and you see it? Does it still count or is yeah, it bad? It counts. Okay. Glasses don't do anything. What about a reflection? Ignorance. You're still making eye contact with it, still counts. Cool. Just yeah, that's a wives' tale about Medusa's. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work. Look at its feet. Medusa, it's actually yes. perpetrated by Medusa's, mm -hmm. so that they people come in and they're like, "Ha ha, I've got a mirror," and it's like, "Ha ha, you're an idiot." Yeah, it's the same way that garlic doesn't actually affect vampires; they just really like the taste of it. Yeah. So, oh no, don't eat that clever garlic. Mm. Oh. Pre-seasoned <laughs> garlic bread. Uh, they yes. garlic blood. Italian food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's my Z me double. Cool. Alright, I um So basically, try and keep your eyes off its eyes. Stab it with a sword. Mm -hmm. um, the blood can be fresh blood can be used to turn people back from stone. Oh, I thought you were gonna say flower ball. I was like, hell I yeah! Like, oh that'd be good too. Yeah. Chuck the flower. It's gotta be fresh though. Okay. Well, good news. If well, if we don't all die. <laughs> cool. We can possibly fix the two guys out the front. Ah, mm. uh, they've been there in a while, by the looks. No, no, so... It's fresh blood, The fresh stone, stone, it doesn't matter how long you've been petrified, the blood oh. has to be fresh. Because oh. after a certain amount of time, the blood loses its magical properties. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. So as long as the basilisk was killed recently, i.e. within the last day, the blood will still turn whatever it's coated on back into living flesh. Oh, okay, that's I am, however, cool. going to put the wand in my backpack. That seems perfectly fine. In fair. case we bring them back. Yeah. It's fine. Why don't you use it and see what it does? I don't know of any of that. 
Well, no, she don't. can't. She hasn't prepped it. You don't have to yeah, you do you with ones and this. Well, ones and staves are the same, aren't they? I thought you just pulled it out, shattered. No, so the it's two. the way staves work in Pathfinder is that when you do your morning prep, you basically have to sacrifice spells to be able to put them into the staff. Oh. I assume. So I thought ones just let you cast one specific spell. That's what's one with charges in it. Yeah. That's not fair. This is not charged. Okay. So it's. It's a stick. <laughs> it's still got magical properties because it's a wand, but it's not charged at the moment. So it's, it's an empty. Um. Well, I suppose it depends on if they function the same way in this system as I did first mm. Do we have any oil? I don't believe we do. It's only that key I'm meaning to buy, but key I'm forgetting to. Uh, ink. Uh, checkers, not as all, that's you. Check Lucille's crap as well. Oh no. Okay, so one's auto charge every day. No. Alright, we need to make a shop list to put oil on it. <laughs> How many vials do we have? Cool, so. They can be used once per day, and then you can try and overcharge it for a second shot, but there's a chance it'll just die. Oh, do it. <laughs> What's it a wand of? Well, you'd have to. Control wand of Wandos. Yep. Yeah, it can go in the bag. I'll worry about that later. I've got first level. Like I've got. But it could be like it could spells. be like it could be a wand of kill basilisk. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if it was a wand to kill basilisk, he wouldn't have been. It was still in his belt. He never drew it. Like an idiot. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Oh, All right. But I do have plan. How many vials do we have? What? Just. The empty vials. So you can put some of that water in. I think they've all got shit in it at the moment. Ugh. Well, not actual feces. They've all got stuff like we acquired nice. magic birds, and then there's like rocks and things, and then there's like the, the the weird chain thing that I put in like a jar, so it's not like touching. I stuff. have a bottle filled with various bodily fluids. There you go. You have your own bottle. Okay, okay. I guess actually I'll... that might throw off its senses if we can like. Somehow blind it and do that, it will be harder for it to find us. Alright, what we need is like. Perception like... test. That's not the right one. Now to one. Outstanding. So ten. Cool. <laughs> so anyway, we have this bag full of dirt mixed with explosive no. rock. You want to keep that? No. The rock no. survived. No. But if no. we put I mean... some. No. The rocks, in fact, did survive. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. Use your own. Should we battle with yourself then? See, all you got to do is climb on its back and punch it repeatedly in the back of the head. Exactly. Just don't look in its eyes and just keep hitting it. But punch it in the eyes. That way, it can't look but at you. But if we <laughs> if we use the magic, exploding rock and water combo to blind it. You know what else could blend it? Your very impressive phoenix talent. Yeah, but, on fire. But this would be a little fun. <laughs> if we're going to do experiments with that, now is not the time, nor the place. The experiment has been done. We now it explodes. Now we make bomb. Kakran, why did the monks send you out here? Did they say that you are to become an alchemist? I have what never busy, experienced blinding a basilisk with an improvised homemade explosive so, before. So See? Cutting up. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't have two people speaking, guys, because it's bad sound. So, one group really. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Did the monks send you out here <coughs> to learn how to do alchemy? That does fall under gain experience, so I guess so. You're just twisting the words to be whatever you want to do at the time. Yes. No. But I am doing that. You are, but the answer is no. We should put it to a vote. Who thinks we should try and blind the basilisk? Who thinks we should try and blind the basilisk the way that Kakran wants to experimenting with dangerous caustic, caustic rocks and chemicals? They weren't caustic, were they? They were just really hot. 
they got extremely hot after they went into the yeah, vapor. That's, that's not, that's not... You don't even know what caustic means. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. hey, hey, if you don't know, yeah. you shouldn't yell into that long cave. How do you know what the word caustic means? Correct. I've heard it somewhere before. Yeah. Actually, no, you guys made glass. You would know what caustic means. Okay. Hell yeah. Actually... I don't know. No, I don't you know. You wouldn't know what caustic. You just you know any, some water burns. Yeah. Do you have any acid spells? You don't, do you? I... I... Might actually. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know what? For a safe argument, never heard the word before in your life. No. But it sounds dangerous and therefore good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as part of the vote, who wants to let Cochran try experimenting with these rocks in this moment against the basilisk? Ah, but see, we know that it works, therefore it's not actually an experiment. Yes, but being able to weaponize it is an experiment. I kind of want to hear how it goes. Yes, but that doesn't mean you want to be dealing with the repercussions. It's not what I said. I know. <laughs> cool. So, uh, so both... Someone hasn't voted yet. I yeah, have my so own. I have my own, uh... That's nice. That's so you're abstaining. So we've got two votes yes, one abstain and one for no. Two for no. Who said no? One for no. One two for abstaining. no. Floxy uh, says you're an idiot. We got three for yes, one abstaining, two for no. Put my vote in. Democracy <laughs> wins! Alright, let's go. What was your idea? That we rest for a bit. I have some things that need to be repaired if we're about to get back into a battle. So we, we just be... woke up. Yeah, I'm wide awake. We... I'm excited. My heart is True. going. But I still have things that need to be fixed. <sighs> What do you need to fix? My shield. I've got a spare one. He does actually have a spare one. Is it as nice as mine? I mean, uh, mine has pretty symbols and stuff on it. Does it matter? It's I mean, mine. it's a shield. It does the exact same job. Actually, I think hers is actually a little bit better than mine. Mine's a steel shield. Steel shield. That has... How much HP does yours have? I don't fucking know. I've never used it. <laughs> it's a steel... Uh, if it's 20. A Five hardness, twenty HP. I don't know what BT is, but it's got BT. Break of threshold. 10. Break threshold. So of when 10. it gets to ten HP, it loses the AC bonus. Cool. Right. Well. <laughs> I need to fix my shield. Here you go. <laughs> now, let's do this. I can't hold both of them. All right, but I want mine back later when it's fixed. I'm not fixing it. <laughs> no. I tried last time I tried to fix a shield and we almost got me. No, because you're both going to expect that I fix the shield. But you said it, not me. <laughs> I'll heal you when injured. I'm already injured. More injured. No, so am I. We're all just a bit tired and run down. I don't think we're injured yet. Also, did you guys do your long rest button? Pretty sure we, I did. I'm pretty good at it. So it should be in the I lived out last time. I didn't need to. I'm not like I'm not low. I'm 25 out of 30. Cool. So I'm at 16 out of 30. Yeah, those two are fine. It's just the wizard not doing too well. What, what, was it how? Wait, how bad are you? I'm at like 12 out of 20, I think. What are these numbers that you keep using? It's the wellness yeah. meter. The it's wellness a, meter? Yeah. 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 Slightly mm. singed. Scale you of zero to 20. Yeah. How well are you feeling? <laughs> you mean you don't have that bright red bar in the bottom left hand corner of your vision? No. <laughs> oh. I do, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be there. No. Oh no. <sighs> I don't think a basilisk's normally solitary. Usually, unless it's mating season. Is it mating season? I didn't smell no pheromones. It's hard to tell. There isn't no set season. That doesn't help me. Well, silly, your answer does not help me. <laughs> yes. I didn't fucking say nothing. Yeah. It's like, Lucille, basilisks. They're normally solitary unless it's mating season, yeah? Probably. Is it mating season? <sighs> mating season for any kind of reptile would probably be in the spring, right? 
Mostly. We're coming into winter, so probably not. Okay. It's likely that it's probably not. Okay. How many snakes did you hear? What? Roll me an intelligence test. <sighs> does it have to be intelligence? Yes, it does. Can I roll acrobatics instead? Huh? Can I roll acrobatics instead? Hey, your no. intelligence is better than your wisdom. Um. <laughs> <laughs> The bright news is I didn't roll a zero. It is, however, a one plus zero. So one. I can tell, really. I know, at least one. Caves, noise was yeah. bouncing off the walls. Like there, there was at least one. <laughs> you can guarantee there is at least one basilisk in this cave. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to be quiet for a second. Oh, there might be none. No, no, there's probably at least one. You got healed six. Oh, thank you. Shield in the future. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I was always going to fix your shield in the future. Only if you live. <laughs> no, it's still fixed. It. They'll just sell it. Okay. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah, it needs to be fixed to be sold. Yeah. Also, this one is beautifully engraved. That's true. Correct. It's a beautiful gift. Alright, so if we're not blowing it up, what are we doing? Well, I'm assuming I should go in last. I can carry the stretcher and just look at my toesies, since you three need to be close to something to hit it. Why I mean, we don't have yeah, to Yeah, we be. could just need the stretcher out here for a minute and doubt it will get... With the broken shield. All right. Leave the shit we don't need here. But are we still in the fairy empire realm thing? Not in the grotto. No. You're not, the grotto, you're not in the grotto. Isn't this land? No, and we can bring it in because uh, we might be able to heal those two people that are petrified, actually. Mm. We can get a shield of blood on the broken shield. Throw it uh, this is a lot of things what that we can those, do. Cleric, uh, what do those statues look like a cleric? <laughs> what did you get on your religion? Uh, At least one. I think it was like 17 or something. No, wait, I didn't get to roll religion because I roll perception so well and then I did vassal. Uh, I was like, oh god. So I didn't get to do that. No, that's fine. Um, hard to tell. Statues. And you don't really do religious motifs. But I understand that they're bastards. Mm. You can usually tell a cleric because they'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, get out of my way, whelp. Whack! It's like, oh, you're going to have your knees removed. <sighs> Right. Must be different being yes. on the, the giving end. What? Well, if you have to cover the statues in blood, this just lends more credence to my explosive plan because shrapnel causes splatter. And this way we might not even have to collect the blood. Right. There's like three birds and one stone. So we want to take out the eyes first, right? Yes. Okay. But we have to do it That's... the hardest way possible. No. <laughs> Idea. Yes. Pocket flower. Pocket flower. But not the big flower on the stretcher. Kara, what range spells do you currently have? <coughs> Dart. I've got all of my low level oh. ones. Um, I've got uh, the fire, electricity, ray of frost. I've got uh, one burning hands left um, and a shocking grasp. But I don't want to get close no, enough no, to do no, shocking range. grasp. Seems uh, reasonable. Yeah. Keep that one for. Um, Sticky situation. Yeah, pretty much. That's a the Fakovsky spell. <gasps> it's like, oh, I'm gonna give this lizard job device. Yeah, so if you pocket flower and then I can like produce flame into it and then hopefully we can just fire. Yeah. So you want to blow stuff up, it's fine. All I want to do is a terrible idea. So then you take some pocket flower too. That's, it is that's entirely the point. <laughs> I trust you with a handful of flour more no. than I do explosive rocks. Well, it, it's in the darkness a lot, so does the light irritate its eyes? Can we blind well, it if it's always in the darkness? Are they nocturnal? Oh. I mean, it didn't oh. step into the torch light. That you know of. Yeah. Well, I know what I see. I don't know. 
much about these creatures. Well, I've told you what I know. But yeah, fucking up its eyesight is a good idea. Um, actually, the, the little uh, cloth thing that you cut off, what if we got um, because getting a handful and going like that, you won't get it very far in flower. What if we did like a little square of fabric, put some flour in it, and then just folded it over okay. in your hand so you can throw it, and then it just like poofs out when it hits something. I, I, I might get it a bit further. Yes. I have another idea. I do have a spare sack. Mm -hmm. Which does not involve explosives. Well, you guys figure it just takes. I'm going to pray for a bit, uh, and I can get my divine focus spell back. It's the, start of, the, it's the start of the day, you should have it. She's already used lay on hands on you. Alright, oh, you did. Oh, I'm so sorry, please ignore that comment. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. yeah. Alright. So the the cave has a skinny bit where it is, and then a big bit where we were. I can set up a distraction on that side, and we'll hide on this side, and that way it won't even be looking at us. I have a, I have a story puppet and a bottle of various bodily fluids. It'll so, make noise and smell like juice, body juice. That could be interesting, mm. chili. And a rock. It's a lot less fun, but it might still work. Okay, okay. then. I'm, I'm that I'm down to see. Oh. Don't want to smell it, but yeah, that would be interesting. Okay. Do you want some help making those? Yes, please. It just fell apart in my hands. Okay. <laughs> no worries. This stupid guy rolled to 19, hit my fingernail, and then rolled over to a 9. Nice. Good job. What are you trying to make? Uh, like little cloth envelopes full of flour and a rock so they fly quicker. Nice. Better. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, that's, uh, 21. Yeah. Without any crafting tools. You it's forage around and things. find some very fine twigs to use as like a thing to hold them that you're pretty sure if you throw them hard enough to hit this thing, the impact will snap the twig and it'll basically exploit the powder. Yep. Cool. So you may, I don't know, roll a d6. Like a d6, like a d6. Don't know. Five. You made That's five of them? Cool. Ooh, one each. Yep. One each. And a bonus one, I guess. I was going to say, who's the extra one for? Oh, the fox. But then it's not one each because the rat misses out. No. Yeah, but she'll just eat it. <laughs> exactly. I see what I see. Okay, so what, we get Foxy to try and carpet bomb them? Yeah. Well, I can't even yeah. <laughs> How big are basilisks? Uh, small horse. Small horse, okay. Yeah. So big for us. Wait, small horse or a pony? Well, head to the end of the tail, they're 13 feet long. How high? With eight legs. Isn't that, isn't that like 10 out. meters? Yeah. But that's to the end of its tail. Oh, right. Like the tail goes about the same length as the body. Yeah, okay. So it's about five meters long. All right, all right. Head to the end of its body. Right. Yeah, but how high is the, the, the shoulder? Um, probably as tall as Azula. Oh, fuck. It's a medium creature. Oh, that's bigger than I thought. No, no, the it's eight legs. They've got eight. Legs. Yeah, and the centipede has like a hundred. Yeah, but doesn't mean that it's that. Big. It's bigger than a komodo dragon. Yeah. Okay. Two komodo dragons stapled together, one right the other. Essentially. <laughs> right. So yeah, like even komodo dragons are only about that high at the shoulder. Yeah. Okay, okay then. Set this puppet up then. Yep. Yeah, sounds good. Right. I forgot to. I forgot That's how big so they much. are. I thought they were. Yeah, they're they're pretty big. Mount. <laughs> nah, 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 bro. <laughs> I mean, well. that's definitely not what I was thinking. I mean, you're a ranger. If any one of us could train the basilisk, it would be you. That's um. I, I do accurate. believe people have tried. It's been a very poor it's showing. It lasts for a little while, and then they usually get they end up turned to stone. Yeah. Hey. Um. Check this code. Oh, um, are we everyone? Yeah. Uh, close Discord. Discord. 
just in the general purge. Oh, cool. Well, that is not what I was picturing. Pretty fucking cool, though. I want one. That's... It's very different to the ones that were in the party. Might have been D&D the last time I came across these ones that were very different. Probably. Yeah. There's more teeth than I was expecting and less lips. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more scared than I want to be now. Meh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> You're more scared? Yeah. <laughs> You were expecting, like, little lizard like this. <laughs> yeah. Angry lizard. No. <laughs> not... No. <laughs> not venom with... More legs. Not like large venom attack. horse with death beams. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So... So you guys go right, I'll go left. Right? What's the next part of the plan? I set up the, the distraction. Yes, and then... <laughs> you guys are throwing a flower at the back of his head? I don't know, man. It's so we're going behind it. It's going to be looking that way. So we know the way behind it? Yeah, it, tur- it turns this way to eat the thing, and we stand over here, quietly. Then we jump on its back and punch on the back of the head, like he said. She said. Um... No, I'm going to like this plan more and more. Of course you are. How do we know it's not going to come after us? We do. Oh, it melee. will, because we'll be punching in the back of the head. Well, no, It'll. first. Well, the other thing is if we prepare to full flow, throw the flower at its face. So we set up this track. Okay, we have this traction. Uh, uh, Creepy pistol. Story of the week, right? And then. We like hide. We wait for it to go over the creepy pistol. Okay. Kakran jumps on back like flying e- bravery. Flying ignited raven bird. Yes. Phoenix okay. bird. Okay. At the same time, the three of us prepare the, uh, the the powder throw. So as it turns around that they're screaming Kakran going, oh, all three of us throw it at their face to try and blind it. So then that way, it can't see. Then I can light its eyes on fire with the powder. Is that how that works? You can light it on fire and then we can proceed yeah. to do the rest of the attacking business. That but is... that way it will have the creep, the grit in its eyes. I mean, it's it's against the the burning in its eyes. Exactly. Is, um, is there any way that we have prevented it from Capron not looking into its eyes? It's going to be looking that way. I'll be on the back of its head. Unless it has... Wait, does it have eyes in the back of its head? No. Not that I know of. Right. Not after you punch out the front ones. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Instead of being like trying to punch it, try to claw it tight it's out with your talents. Flaming talents! Yeah, See? I was there. Alright. Just try not to look into its eyes. I'm just gonna say, all this could have been achieved with two vials about this big. <laughs> yeah. Are we giving you one of the little things of flowers so that when you jump on his back, you just go <laughs> into its face? That also works. Uh, that, uh, I can try. Cool, we do have a couple of spares. Yeah. All uh, right, sure, why not? I'll take one of those as well. Yep, and then Lucille, if you have two, because you're probably better at this than I am. Oh, yeah, because I do this all the time. I mean, to be a ranger, I'm assuming you can do ranged weapons. It's in the name. Range. Uh, range refers to a, a distance you cover on foot. It's also a type of range. weapon. A yeah. range, ranger weapons is not a thing. Don't you normally have bows for hunting or like throwing stones? Have or you like ever a seen? Sling have you or... seen me wield a sling or carry a bow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's always interesting watching you go hunting. You throw the axe. Sometimes you throw the axe. Sometimes you throw the axe. Sometimes the axe throws you. <laughs> Especially if it gets stuck in a tree and I try to get it out in the cart. With our size, it's easy for the axe to throw us. Okay. Cool. We, we got one. We have a so, plan. So, you guys seem to have a plan. Hell yeah. Yes. So. All centering around the creepy a, pistol. a creepy pistol. <laughs> Alright, I'll okay. take a drink first. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Me. It's like, oh yeah. yeah talking to the bookshelf. Oh yeah. Being a bastard, filthy bookshelf. It is. 
Look at it all brown. We're going to attempt to kill a backup. Pixelated, backups. maybe. We didn't have a backup plan, but... I mean, we could probably just try and run past. Okay, I didn't see you suggesting another plan. Hit it until plan. it dies. I'm pretty no, sure I gave I you a backup plan. I didn't... I thought you had another plan, but you just didn't get to say it. I'm pretty sure I've spat out two plans. It just does. One of those could absolutely be a backup. It's true. When worse definitely gets to where we're going to be, it's definitely an option to kill us all. Yeah, so after the explosives fail... Ah, yeah, so you think that will result in death? Yeah, ours. Uh-huh. Think that shit kills you? Like him blowing us up? With that? I still think you should try the wand. <laughs> Do it! Yeah. See, I still have the whole sack of flour that I could lob into the air, watch it go poof, and then have someone just do a... produce flame on it. And then watch that blow up the entire cave. Yeah, so they blow up those shit out of it. They blow up silos really well. They do. So does sawdust. It just spontaneously explodes if it gets wet. Um, <laughs> we should probably move the petrified people out of the way if possible. Yes. Oh yeah, that's going to be easy. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. But were they small? Were they halflings? They, they, were, they were not gnomes or uh, halflings. They looked just like they people. They were cubes. full-size people. Like if we're that fighting, like in that, we're wearing armor. If and we're stone is heavier than people. Maybe we can push them onto the shield, and the drag's shield. Or the stretcher. No. <sighs> so it's like a brick. I don't know. It's just a thought a, that like you know, a fighting a topiary garden. over them. Fighting over them is a good idea because if the basilisk bleeds, I'm thinking better. So just leave them where they are. We'll leave a trail so it can follow us outside. Yeah. <laughs> leave them where they are. Where's my fruit gun? The belly, they be fine. Or they won't. So does Basilisk hunt by sound or smell more? I mean sight, because that's how they kill you, right? Mm. With their mouth. I'm asking people who know things. Mm. I feel like if you're turning things to stone with your fucking eyes, you hunt with your eyes. Because mm. if you have to be able to make eye contact with wow. something to eat it, you have to be able to see the eyes to make eye contact, right? Their best. So, probably sensing vibrations through the ground. Anyway, I don't know I'm where sure. to find out. Did you just walk in there? No. Oh. I'm using my nature thing to oh, understand cool. how a cool. lizard might feel things. Yep. And not just depression. So that's uh, a twenty-one. Too. Twenty-one. Yes. They do have dark vision, but their sight's surprisingly not their primary. Like, sense. Set, that's the one I'm looking for. Thank you. Um, it's more of a secondary one because the gay, like the <clears throat> magic runs through it, it tends to sort of, you know, wear out their eyes a bit. Mm -hmm. So they run more off scent. So, what I'm hearing is you should fling some of that bodily fluids around the place. Oh, there'll be enough bodily fluids around the place once it gets in here. Well, I don't think I can. Mm. Cool. I think it'd be better on a... So, so the piss dog. statue. Or the piss puppet. It's not actually piss. Yet. Well... It's... <laughs> it, it came from a brothel. It's... It's all kinds of things. I'm pretty sure it smells like that stuff smells strong, doesn't it? You still got that deer uh, skull, right? No. Oh, no, that got traded. Ah, oh, dang. Traded that could have worked. Good enough, yes. So could have that decapitated head in a bucket that I had a while back. <laughs> that would be rather potent right about now. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm really keen to have a crack at this. So, who's going in with the puppet? Me, I'm pretty sure. Are we going into the cave or just putting kind of out the front? I don't know, in the cave to the left. Because there's that... When there's, you say the left. There's an outcove. There was an alcove on the left hand side, so it'd have to come down. Actually, I can just see the fucking map. Yeah. You see the left, the trail comes down, and there's that alcove on the left hand side. Are we talking this side, or are we talking this side? That the, side. The one that's the left. Okay. And you'll yep. Yeah, so, so I'll So you're going to try and stealth over to there and put it in the corner there? Yep. And then everyone else. Then I'll wait there with the puppet while everyone else fucks up their stealth checks and goes that way. Okay, no worries. Alright, so what I'm going to need you to do is roll a stealth test to try and quietly make your way into the cave before the rest of the party. I'm holding a mouth this puppet shut, if I have to mention that to you. It has activation. Oh, you it? can 
turn, like you can un, like deactivate and activate. It. Oh, good. Cause I just wrap some rope around it and hope for the best. <laughs> also, when are you popping the jar on that? Tub? I'm just gonna that lob scent. it. I'm gonna lob it. So I'm gonna wait for you guys to get into position, cause I presume. I thought you're, you were putting it on the puppet. I will be. Yes. But I don't have to uncork it and tip it out. It's in a it's in a glass bottle. I can just throw it. So I'm gonna wait for you guys to fuck up your stealth checks, and then I'll turn the puppet on and dump it. Why are we doing it inside the cave? Why don't because we draw it's more it fun outside, inside. But outside, where everyone in the party can see. <sighs> oh no, you're keeping that role. Just what did you get for stealth? Nothing yet. Okay. Apparently we're doing it outside now. No. It, okay. Like, is it gonna come outside? It hasn't come outside yet. We've been standing here yapping for yonks. If it hasn't come out to eat us yet, I don't think it's going to come Well, at this point, you guys would still be down the path a little bit. You wouldn't yeah. have moved back up to the cave entrance. Yeah. Oh. You'd still be making the plan. We're not just the out plan. the front of the cave. You're not having this conversation out the front of the cave entrance. Uh, fair enough. And if that was... If that was Kakran's impression, this is why it was the finest one. <laughs> I was, I was. That's why I kept on looking at you, going, "When's it coming out? When's it coming?" Because I thought we were just having this. I'm like, I wasn't going to say. Because at no point has the group thing. said we're going to move back up to the cave yet. No, right. because Azul is doing a meditation. I'm sorry, I didn't hear anyone say. Well, it only takes about ten minutes. Yeah, yeah I didn't hear so anyone say finished. that we left the mouth of the cave. Yeah, so I was sitting there going, "Oh no, no, you guys move back down because oh, that's right. we said it." I said it at least twice. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I was, it was yeah, no, no, no. Lucille has led you away from the game. That, I'll, I'm sorry, because I've been noticed. looking at you going, oh, when's it coming? When's it coming? Don't worry. And wondering fine. why it never had. So that's why. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can try it outside if you want. What do you guys think? I've only put you just outside, because that way you can't see what's happening yeah, inside the game. Because I'm moving shit around. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, with, yeah, I figured that... I, so I'm... You. Maybe. I'm fully expecting to stick my head and then get bit, so... <laughs> well, with the cave, we have the distraction element of us mm -hmm. not being in sight. When it comes out of the cave, then it's, there's not really a place for us to hide. No, it's like a cliff to our right and a wall to the left. Yes. Yes. But yeah. it, so it's a fairly open area right in front of the cave. So no, we wouldn't as be able is to usually the, the case with cave entrances. Yeah, we could. Why not? Yeah, because he could just so if here's the 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 cave entrance way. If he stilts over to this side and puts the thing here and like the scent, so yeah, he comes like out here. and looks that way, and we're all on this side. Yeah. Then he can just we can attack that way. Is this creature not intelligent? Would it uh, not look wait. everywhere before going straight to? Probably, but. I have a plan for that too. That is an excellent question. I was assuming it's not intelligent. I figured if it was intelligent, it would have come up when I was remembering. The, the smart for an animal. Like a dog or smarter? Yeah, like a bit smarter than a dog. But Cat. Some cats. Oh, not ginger ones, obviously. Alright, we'll go with the whatever Lucille was about to say. See, see, ah, because everyone knows that adventurer needs a light source, never burning torch. Yeah. Give to the puppet, wedge it in there. Sure. That way the lizard's also got something else to focus on. Sure, mm. why not? What are we going to do if the lizard has to come down because you yelled and threw a torch down the way? Uh, punch it in the front of the head. Okay. Well, as in if we go in and see it straight away. And yeah, if we go to get there and it's already there. So, I... Th are you going to log the talking piss puppet? So, are we... Are we not doing this outside anymore? <laughs> no, but what... Here's the thing, right? If we're making alternatives. If we so get to the it. entrance, where, like, you get to here, and you're going to still the cross, but you see the lizard is right here. Or that you don't think you can get across... Okay, you know what? Doing I have an I have an additional plan for a plan. How big is the cave entrance? About fifteen feet across. What's that about? Seven, eight meters. Yeah. Yeah. 
his shoreline height. Five, six metres, right? something like that. Cool. How how high is the is the cave entrance? About the same. At the highest point. All right. How climbable does that rock around the cave entrance look? Not very. Not very? Well, up to a certain point, you can definitely climb it. But to get right to the top, you would have a very hard time. Right. Yeah. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to run it. And it'll either chase me or it won't. Okay, so plan A, we do it inside the cave. Plan B, you run. What? I don't know. <laughs> plan A. Plan A is Question. I take Hold up. stupid fucking... Hold. Hold. Can these things just kind of scale cave walls and the like? Not easily. Possibly. I mean, like anything else, they can try to climb it, but they can't walk up it like it was nothing. Okay, so don't like a spider. No. Alright. Alright. Back to Upright's <laughs> plan A. I don't know what the plan is anymore. Okay. Plan A is I take dummy to the on the outside of the cave, to the other side of the entrance, and start it up. And then I know I'll hide down the cliff or I'll something. And you guys like, keep asking questions because you're like, and then I'll something or whatever. I'm pretty sure Plan A is inside it. Yeah. Going on that side tunnel, putting yeah. the puppet and I thought, stuff I thought on there. That was, that was Plan A1. <laughs> yes, but. Plan A. Let's do that plan. We'll stick with that plan. Okay, if you go in there and it happens to I be I thought you wanted, that's why I thought you wanted it outside the cave. No, that's plan B. If you go in there and the snake is straight to there already, then we move it outside the cave. Okay. Yeah, so if you get the cave entrance, you see this snaky thing there, then throw the talk at popping that, uh, talking puppet and um, scented vial on the other side of the entrance way, so it comes out and goes there. Okay. Does that work? Sure. Is this okay? Yes. Remember your powder. There yes. too many Without, steps. We need powders and the best, yes, you must remember to Okay, fire. so you're rolling a stealth, I take it. 22. 22. Yep. And you're moving up to the entrance. Yep. Okay. Alright, you've given us all powders? Yes. Excellent. I think technically Kara would have because she's the one who made That's them. That's true. <laughs> up to and... Right. <coughs> well, um, I'll get my wonder floxy to carpet bomb and I'll prep produce one. Oh, Alright, so you make your way quietly up the track back to the cave entrance. Yep. And now I'm just confu- cons- confirming mm-hmm. you haven't opened up the vial, have you? No. Okay, good. No. So the puppet so, is switched off because apparently that's the thing you can do. And the, the Well it has an activation deactivation yeah. code, like most magic items. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the vial is just in its vial. It's just a... Yep. No worries. Yeah. That's why I was going to throw it. Because <laughs> you want me near it. <laughs> Roll me, as you move in, a perception test. Uh, seven. <laughs> is that a total? <laughs> That's total. Four plus three is, in fact, seven. Okay. It's new slowly. It's man. behind me, isn't it? <laughs> Oh yeah. No. yeah, yeah, you've walked straight past it. Because I've just snuck through, it's like, the fuck's this guy doing? <laughs> just walk straight underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you make your way nice and slowly over to the little corner. Yep. I place the puppet down without turning it on. Yep. And then I, then I turn around and wait for them to come on the other side. Cool. Alright, so you guys wait, what, a minute or two? Mm-hmm. Well, you'd watch Kakaran go up the pathway and then you'd see him ducking through the cave. Listen for any screaming. You don't hear any screams. Probably a good sign. I mean, how loud can a stone statue scream? Yeah. Nah, they're gonna do it twice. Accurate. What are you guys doing? Getting my shield ready up here and my throwing arm ready. Okay. <laughs> With powder. Oh, the torch is also off. Alright. The- but there's still a torch light that way from where Yeah, yeah, but that's up the thing. That's okay. up the cave. The one that's been stuck in the doll is not on. Okay. So nothing's been activated. Nothing. No, I know. I know. Yeah. 
Right. You say you haven't done the torch in the pub. I've done nothing yet. I'm I'm in position waiting for you guys to get in position. Okay, well, I'm hot. Like, like to the cave. Mm -hmm. So once you guys get to... lead Lucille? They can't see. Just so like once you guys, once I can see you guys coming to the cave, I can start activating your shit. You know, okay. we only really need to get to the entrance way, right? That's... Oh, good. Yeah. That's one. Is that, did you yeah. can see the entrance? Yeah. So once I can see you guys, I can start activating shit. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys are making your way up to the entrance of the cave. Mm -hmm. I assume that's going to try and be stealthily, correct? <clears throat> I got a 22, because you said I had to keep it. Nice. Yeah. What'd you get? Here we go. Seven. Oh, I have a logic. I just... I can oh. I try to assist? You can certainly try, but it's going to make yours harder. Yeah, well, I'll be at the back anyway. No, that's fine. Again, if you are untrained in something, you just use whatever what? it is. So you use it, but you don't get any. Oh, my stealth is so what I thought it is. So you basically oh, just add your dexterity no. and any armor check penalties. So it's the same thing. Okay. I was thinking of your stealth, not my stealth. My stealth is kind of like Nineteen. I did not know. Okay. Yeah, I'm learning. I did. I didn't do well. <laughs> I got an eleven. Okay. My stealth is not what I thought it is, and I only rolled five. Okay. Yep. Yep, so you're trying to help um, Azula up the path, and Azula's being extremely quiet because she's basically in the zone at this point, and you're like fumbling a little bit because you're worrying too much about where she's standing and you're not focusing at all where you're going. Um, and it'd also be because I'm like prepping the spell so that way if it comes out of the cave I can just lob a yep. spell straight away. Oh. So. Do I need to do a separate perception test for them coming up to the cave mouth? Not with her. <laughs> <laughs> not with me. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so as you you basically watch as you'd hear the sounds of like rocks yep. clattering. Fuck. Good. Alright, well and you'd see if I start you'd see these two Basically, halfway in the cave entrance right. as Kara is. Well, if I'm hearing, if I'm hearing noise, I'm gonna start activating shit. So I'll start with the with the talking. Um, <clears throat> then I guess I'll hit the lights and I'll scurry away and lob the 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 juices. This is not where I thought things were gonna be. Because I'm like, I thought it was gonna be out of our. We can see. Yeah. Well, yeah. you guys are supposed to be quiet. I was. I was Sorry, very quiet. I mean, yeah, you were supposed to be quiet. <laughs> yes, because I'm the problem with this party. You're one of the problems with this party. We're all one of the problems hey, with this party. Hey, we're all problems we are. with this party. We all have problems with this party. We are all the problems with this party. <laughs> we are the party of problems. Okay. At, as you basically light and get the puppet going and all that kind of stuff, you would all hear this low growl come from the entrance over here. Oh, that was for it. <laughs> as a large, somewhat aggravated, I guess, basilisk would come. Hunt prey. Hunt prey? Can I throw the spell I had prepped? How did you know you would see this? Huh? Kakra, how did you know you would see that? Uh, did you see it? The light is right there. Did you see it? You have it at a better angle. <laughs> He's looking at us. Okay. So he yeah, I'm at, actually I'm around the corner from it. Yeah. He looks at us, sees us go. <laughs> and then he's just like, what? what? That's wrong. He's <laughs> like, oh, that's, yeah, I can smell it too. Yeah. Okay. So at this point, everyone's going to roll initiative. Here we go. Can I fling this spell out of practice? Hey! Uh, so. No, because you're not going to get any kind of prep round. Cool. That's what I was saying as I walked up. I prepped this spell so that way it could. That's alright. That's not part of the plan. Wait, good. I'll hold on to it. If it had been part of the plan, maybe. But. That's right. I'll let you get a free. One of the. Is it two action? Yeah, that's why I did the prep you on the way up. You can get one action free for it in the first round. Yeah. So you know how it takes two actions to pass? Mm -hmm. One of them will be for free. Yep. Oh, but I got a 20 on the dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Five. what? Are we not? We 
do one of combat the if we can do on the yeah. Okay, well we can so everyone can see it. Does that include initiative? If I get a less than twenty, I'm not gonna be happy with you, sweetheart. Because all, we've all rolled our initiatives. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, mine can't get much worse. Uh, well, yeah, you've got a, what, a twenty-three. I rolled a six. I got a nineteen. Which means a fifteen. <laughs> there we are. All right, there. It's all on the board for you. Can we write someone's in? Yes. <sighs> so you're done. <sighs> what does I get? Fifteen. Stupid. 19, I had a 23 earlier. You're still going first. Yeah, I had a 19, not a 12, damn it. You'll be fine. Okay. So. Master Cockron. <clears throat> alright. So I see. It has made its presence known. Good, good. Alright, alright. So I've activated the doll, I've activated the torch. Yep. I'm like, oh fuck, hello. I'll smash the ball on it, then lob the doll around the corner. I'll okay, just, as you start way. smashing stuff, it's immediately gonna whip its head around That's and cool. stare into your eyes. Or at least attempt to. But I'm looking at the doll. Yeah, wow. See, this is the thing, right? It only has to make eye contact for half a second. Uh, uh, and you're not attempting to avert your case. Uh, Basically, what you need to do, roll fortitude save. Uh, I just close that, I'm an idiot. Um, fortitude. Roll. Oh, roll. Yep. So you, you, for like half a second as you're going, you like quickly look up just to check where it is, and you oh, just fuck. lock eyes with it for a second, and you see them flash green. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Um, and you feel this like everything tenses for like half a second, and then your body just immediately just overcomes whatever it was and starts moving again. Cool. Okay. So yeah, you basically go do everything, duck, um, drop it down behind you. I can't ping. How do I ping things? One click hold. Because I'm trying to throw it around the corner. Oh, you're going. There we go. Because I'm trying. So I smash it. I'm trying to lob it around the corner. So it hopefully goes after that first. Yep, okay. Do I have to roll? No worries. Roll me a deception test. Deception. Yep. I don't think that's... A th Where is... Hey, I got a plus two on that. Oh, Hell yeah. Are you trained? No. Oh. <laughs> it's just deceitful. It's a <laughs> hey, what's that? <laughs> I think that was a nine. It was a nine. Um, you... Lob the doll and it's talking and it smells like people. Um, and you see the basilisk like immediately like look towards it. Cool. And it takes like half a step that direction. I'll uh, duck back around this corner. Yep. <sighs> yep. And then I'll um, pull out um, the 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 flower. Yes. The yep. Bag. The little flower bombs. Um, oh shit! So I did that one. I pull out the flower bag because so smashing and tossing. So smashing and everything and tossing it—that's going to be an action. Yep. Pulling flower out. bag and tosses that one or two actions. Because it was already on the belt ready to go. Yeah, we'll say you can toss it for an action. That'll be right. Yep. Cool. Um, Roll me a flat DC two. Basically, roll a D twenty. I need to remember how to do that on this screen. Uh, I'm pretty sure you right click. Backslash. Oh no, sorry. Forward slash. Oh, uh, yeah, I've right. typed in now. Right, roll. Public roll. Um, Forward slash roll space d20. You need to add the cup. Actually, I think I can request it. Hey, look at that. Hey! Good. So, as you pull it DC up. DC of two, good, 20. Yeah, as you pull it up, it doesn't fall to pieces. Oh. <laughs> um. And then as you throw it, it also doesn't fall to pieces. <laughs> Roll me a ranged attack. Uh, it, isn't that just another slash roll? So it'll be your unarmed strike. Is it? Oops. Oops. Hold just roll d20 and then add. So it'll be your proficiency modifier, which will be 
white, actually. No, no, you are a proficient. It's an improvised weapon, so I'm not going to give you a proficiency modifier. Basically, just add your dex modifier, which will be. Okay, there you go. 17 plus, plus 4. Pardon me. <laughs> 21. Okay, no worries. Cool, got it. Should throw a dart instead. Boink in the eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you basically hock this little thing at it, hits it like square in the snout, and you watch as this white ball just blows up in its face. Um, it just sort of. <laughs> Doesn't really seem to do anything though. That's mm, entirely fair, it was fucking flower. No, it's fine. Um I wasn't really expecting to go first. I um, guess I will step back around that corner. Yep. Step step back. Step cool. back around that corner and um, that's three actions, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Alright. Azula. That was sad. It didn't have any effect. I mean, you were meant to be lighting it on fire too. How am I supposed to do that? Well, you were meant to be with it. <laughs> I, that's why I had produced yeah. flame craft, yeah. so I could, yeah, blow it up when we all like, got at I the same came... time. Oh, well, you've got produced flame done. Like, you'd have it there ready to go, so you'd be able to toss yeah. some fireball. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I that, came... that was the idea, part of the yeah. plan. See, all like, this is happening pretty much all at the same time, time too. So yeah, so there's still like a dis cloud of flour around its head at the moment. And like, I can light on fire, but I have to first of <laughs> all be in range, take a stance and make an attack. Yeah. That's, so, that's all three actions yeah. and you would also need to throw the pot in the yeah. thing. So, yeah. yeah. That's anyway. why Floxy has my thing of flour so she can carve a bomb and I can just flip <laughs> produce flame. Ah, uh, excellent. We've created bombers. <laughs> World yeah. War Two would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Azul. The other thing you can do is just hold your action until after I try to set its face on fire to fuck up its eyes. Would you like to permanently change your location? Would it, is it better if I throw it first and then you get the produce flame or you produce flame and then throw it? I mean more flour is going to yeah. create a bigger explosion. Yeah, so but I don't know if I do it after or before I turn like... So there is a certain amount of flour in the air at the moment. If you throw and it hits, it's going to create more flour in the air. Yeah. More flour is going to create bigger explosion. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hide behind that statue. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He's small creature at the moment because he's nailed down, so yeah. he would be a good size for you to hide behind. Range. Being this far, does that give me a detriment to my throwing? No. Nah. It's in range increment for this thing. It's like 20 feet, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'm giving it like a 30 foot range increment. Yeah. All right. It's got a rock in it, otherwise it was going to yeah. be like 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll, I'll be a bit thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I will throw it first. Okay, so as I said, as you go to prepare it, mm -hmm. roll a d20. Just a flat d20. Just to see if when you grab That's it in the heat of the moment. So slash roll space D20. No, I should just copy it and try to see if it'll be there. Yep, cool. So it doesn't fall to pieces. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wonder if you can just add it to Then range attack. So it's the same again, and then add your dexterity modifier to it. So my dex throw. Yep. I'm just testing something. Yeah, just to see if it works. Yeah, it works. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> cool. Then what's your dexterity? Oh, it's already added. Two for a second. Oh, okay. Plus three. I mean, yeah, that's enough to hit it. Yay! And the cloud of smoke. <sighs> okay. So. <clears throat> this time when it hits it you see it shake its head again but it lets out this 
different sort of growl. It almost sounds a bit pained. Like, yeah. yeah no, like, the first one, it was more just like a annoyed sort what of... What the hell are you doing? <laughs> this one's more of a... <laughs> and you see, like, one of its claws reach up and, like... <laughs> oh, no, I'll just cut out one of its own eyes. <laughs> Excellent. Um, oh, I know that noise. It's the same as when I give you salad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good. Oh, wow. um, I'm going to move for my second one. Yeah. To there. No worries. And then a uh, third is shield. Shield up? No worries. Oh, As in shield no. up blocking your face? Okay. So you can't look at yeah. it? Yeah. And potential flames. Alright. Shit. Up in case it decides to attack. Basilisk's turn. That's fine. Dolly, 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 dolly. <sighs> Too close to it, but Odds or evens? Uh, it's always even. Even Steven. Okay. It sort of thrashes around a little bit and then immediately charges over towards the doll. And hey. you see it sort of like chomp down. And you hear it's like <laughs> in the middle of a sentence and then it's almost like a record. There's this like yeah. almost <laughs> scratching noise <laughs> as if everything just stops. <laughs> It ain't pee. <laughs> it ain't other things. Yeah, but I wasn't um, gonna say that because. And then there's another stop, like another um, snapping and scratching noise as it lets out this other almost annoyed gurgling pain. Now I just want everyone to imagine if there was a two little vials sitting on top of that doll's head and I got chomped on. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> You're not playing the rat. <laughs> Stop the point. You're not playing the rat. <coughs> Doesn't mean I can't like to blow shit up. Also. I can't wait until you can suck like stuff into an explosion. That's the area how does like the flower is taking up as well. Aw. I mean, it's just unfortunate that it moved first. Alright. Lucille. Ah. Huh. <laughs> yep. No worries. You have two of those, man. <laughs> Alright, so you grab the first one? Yep. Roll to see if it disintegrates. Let's see. Roll D20 for me, please. We can do it if you want. We just added a macro, so all Boom. you gotta do is push a one. There you go. Apparently yeah. I got a 19. You do. That's what's gonna go next. And then, yep. So it doesn't explode as you pull it into your hand. Excellent. And then Lucille, throw at it. Do I do it again? No. 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 Sort plus, of tight. Go. Plus your dex, right? Yep. Plus dex modifier. One. Oh, my hair's getting warm. Mm-hmm. Oh, the edge. <laughs> okay, so six. We just needed to fill that area. That way we can expand the, the cloud. And the problem is, like so with bucket. a six, you essentially, you throw it and it lands underneath it. The problem is though, because it lands underneath it, when it is sort of explodes out, it basically all coats underneath it. Instead of it all exploding up into the air like you're sort of wanting to, it basically just coats the underside and there's no explosion of flour into the air. There's still a bit though. No. Nice Not man. enough. Not enough for what you want. Love another. Do it. I can use a hero point. Um, you you could it. use a hero point. Let's do it. Why not? Roll again. I don't okay. really remember to use them. You want me to do it? Yeah. But we have that here too. Do you? Okay. I don't know. No. <laughs> I just pressed the number one and ba bam. You got a nine. <laughs> so you did better. Good job. Woo! Slightly less bad. It's unfortunately it's the same thing. The, the big problem that you're having is that you're judging this like, off of the noises. You're just like, uh, like I know it's there. over there, and I can hear the sound of snapping woods. So you're like, yeah. Like, I know where this stupid thing is, but I can't tell where exactly it isn't. Yeah. So unfortunately, yeah, you're not you're not able to get it into a position where you're able to explode it. Have time. you ever tried to throw a water balloon and explodes in your hand? That's Have you ever I'm... tried to throw a water balloon that doesn't explode in your hand, blindfolded? 
Yeah, but I mean, that's what I was, that's what I was, I was expecting there to be just a cloud of um, dust. I mean, a cloud of... Actually, that's a good point. Roll again. What? Roll again. Because that first one is to see if it explodes. What? Well, that first one is when she readies oh, it. That's right. the check to see if it actually breaks or not. Yeah. Yeah, so roll again to hit. Twelve. That's when you hit it on up. the side. You're creeping up. So. Wait, is this a that second one. attack or a hero point? That's no, the hero point. That was the hero point. Yes, good, yeah. It's my reminder to water the garden every second day. Yeah, good. That one that would one. land there. You'd hit it on the side. It wouldn't hit it on the head. Close so that means it's good. not going to... Like, try and infect, like, hit the eyes. Yep. But it is going to blast out and create a cloud of flour. So. That does that. You have one action left. You mean blindfold? Blindfold? Oh, you didn't have the blindfold on? No. Oh, okay. So I just miss because I'm a bad shot. You just miss. <laughs> I like you had the blindfold on going up there and then just took it off. Oh, I had it so it was across one eye. I only have one eye, that's why I missed it, because I like uh, my depth perception. Your depth perception is completely shot. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, that's it. It's about there. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> First one was a ranging shot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright, and then the second one is to pull the blindfold down. So yeah, you yep. secure it into place, so it'll be right for the fight, but you are now blinded. Um, which... But I can see it. Sort of. Well, no. So I know exactly have, where it is. Yeah, because because you're hunt prey, you have the ability to just, you know, do stuff. Conditions. Blinded. Here you are. Have the. <laughs> <laughs> I love looking at stuff from your perspective. Just just click on your like get Haley to click on your hero on on this <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what more do you need? All I can hear is noises! <laughs> See, that's okay, I only need the noises. Yeah. Um, but you do know exactly which one is the Basilisk because yep. you've come to it, so yes. you're all good. Alright, Dara. Well, I'll throw my flower into the flower swarm. Okay, so you got to throw flower first? Well, because I've got the spell prepped, so you said that it only take like, one action. Anyway. Well, so oh I wait, no, Floxy's got it, not me. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, so it's an action to get your familiar to do stuff. Mm-hmm. And then she gets two actions. Mm-hmm. So she can move and drop. Yep. <laughs> and she's the last radius. No, they're only five foot clouds, so she can fly above it just. Yeah, um, so she can fly above it and, and then, keep going, because she's got like a 40 foot fly speed. Yeah, I completely know if there was produced flame, because that's one that you can just have active, and then it's like an action to throw bits of fire, isn't it? Not in this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Um, cool. But yeah, so. But. So, action for Floxy? Yep. So, Floxy is going to just fly over and drop at the sound, but keep going. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -da. Wow. She'll get to there. Alright, now. So, Floxy needs to roll a DC, and hers is going to be higher. So, roll them. I'm going to just roll it here. Yeah. Yep. Okay, no, hers is fine. So she's all good. Then ranged attack again. Plus her dex. Which is... Two, I think. Let me have a look. Um, last assault was mobility. Mobility. Her attack roll is oh, plus so two, but I don't know what her base is. She's had her attack roll. That'll be fine. Two. So that'll be 16. So 16, so that's enough to hit it in the face. Mm -hmm. So. It doesn't let out the same sort of pain gurgling noise, but you do definitely hit it. Cool. And then she'll keep flying further up. All right. So what's Never to be seen again. Where's her fly? She's got, she's got 40 She's got fly feet. 40. So you should make it basically all the way back to you if you want. She'd make it like back to there. I was going to have her keep going that way. Oh, further into the cave? Okay. Yeah. Like I said, never be seen again. <laughs> um, she'd make it to like... Five, um, yeah, but she'll be up 
at the like near the top of the cave. She'd make it hide. like yeah. Cool. Because that way right. she can make distracting noises as well. Sure. Then produce flame. No worries. So it's range attack? Yes it is. Okay. I mean, you only have to hit in the area, right? Just don't shoot me, it'll be fine. It's fine, fine, everything, everything will be fine. fine. It is a cube of flower dust, so... I mean, there is a large <laughs> area that you hit in. Yep, it's there. <clears throat> Roll the attack. There is an attack button. Roll the attack. I uh, Hold on, there we go. I helped. 25 is definitely going to hit. Beautiful. Does she crit the flower clouds? Well, no, she's actually aiming at the basilisk. Cause, oh. So the way this is going to work is roll the damage for the for the actual produced flame. Mm-hmm. And then add 1, 2, 4, D4. A D4 for each of the f- mm-hmm. bits of... Can I write 44? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 44. That'll roll 44 for you. I'm hoping this Oops. blinds it. Let's see if it I just works. pull it head first. So it worked. Hey, it worked. 12. It's an extra 12. Okay, so. Damage. 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 Alright. It's really nice you can't minimize this. You have to close it. You see things. We said that basilisk eyes glow in the dark, did they? No, you just see a glint of green. They glow when they do the magic magnifying. Right. Okay. <laughs> Which is <laughs> not very helpful that the ever burning torch is right. in fact green. Because then we would have <laughs> green like, everywhere. It's less obvious. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Um, cool. It's over there. Wait, yeah. that's just. And uh, now these are very much gone. So. It's gone and be gone. Um, <laughs> so, what was that? Ah. Oh, okay. Part one of the plan complete, guys. Um, we didn't have part two. Part two, run away. Uh, yeah, part two was he jumped on the back. back. Okay, so as the <laughs> there is an explosion, um, and you're all hit with a little bit of a wave of force as you That's know, why I ducked behind. large cloud of flour to <laughs> explodes. Yeah, I just sort um, of brace behind Lucille. <laughs> <laughs> like, Who is themselves bracing behind a statue. I don't know she did. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, you would all hear this squeal, like, squeal is probably the most accurate yeah. description. Mm-hmm. Like, you know that, I know you know what I'm talking about, that sound Tyranids make. Yeah. He's like, Eesh! but it, it'd be deeper because it's bigger. He, he's a big boy. Yeah, he, he, he's a hefty lad. Um, as sort of the smoke clears after a moment, you would see the left hand side of its face is completely black and there is blood pouring out of its left eye. All right. Now, it doesn't need both eyes to do it. Let's find out. No. We're about to find out. Oh, God, it doesn't. So, you've still got one action left. I do. What are you doing? Close your eyes. <laughs> now, like I, so, I don't know if I actually said this before. So, averting your eyes is an action, and it gives you plus two to the fortitude saves on the, on its stuff. So, averting my eyes is an action. Yeah. I'm gonna make good friends with my toes. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> oh my, what's that? Over oh, there? oh my, what are you up to, guys? Actually, it's probably more just because I've got the big hat. I just sort of like. I tilt cool. my head down so that, that the hat room kind of like will be directly in between it and me so I can't accidentally look at it until my turn. No worries. Okay, cock run. Alright. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that even though I saw him doing it. Sorry. You look a bit so bad for the audio when you do that. I'm helping you sync it up. <laughs> He's just testing it so you know where all the peaks are. Yeah. Exactly. I'm helping. Just, just peeking out the volume. Yeah. It's fine. <coughs> Alright. Tis peak, uh, my lord. 
What am I gonna do? Um, so I've got three actions. You do. You have movement. I should do that last, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> I will, in fact, move first. Okay. 5, 10, 15. 5, 15. Eh. Eh. Can't get behind it. Five, so 5, 10, 15. That's 20, isn't it? Yeah, because the first diagonal is always 5 feet. Yeah, mm. so that is 20 other movement of 25, I think. Why is this? Oh, let's do it this way. I just needed to do that so it didn't sink back up with mine, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's um, try and mount this bad boy. Okay. If that's what we're doing. It went oh, so well actually, for you how last time. high up off the ground is its head? Is its head? Yeah. It well, it sits a little bit lower than the, like, the highest point of its back. So the head itself would be probably about a metre and a half at the highest point. All right, so I couldn't actually reach it. Sure you could. You could run and oh, cool. jump. Yeah, but now I couldn't just like step. I'd have to like, I'd have to do an also, action to be able. To the the eye on this side is already bleeding. Yeah, I know, but still, the stuff. second one and I have an idea for that. Yeah, but the second one is on the other side of it, so you'd have to basically become one with the wall. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. Uh, okay, so one for. Oh, damn it, Sam stands as action. It is yes. Um. Well, it doesn't hunt by sight anyway. If I... Okay, I need to clarify something. With the petrification thing, yes. I have to be able to see its eyes and it has to be able to see mine. It has to lock on, like, eye contact. Yeah. Okay, so if I am concealed, it can't make eye contact with me. And, uh, yes, it can. So, so the, see, here's the thing, right? It's looking in your direction and if you look at its eye, okay. it still classes. Okay, so it is a one-way thing. Right? Yeah, no, it's right. it because doesn't, it, as long as it's looking in your direction and you basically look at its eye, it counts. That's okay, because yeah. I was going to cheese with the smoke stick. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> yeah, it just, psh, I can see you, but you can't see me. Oh God! Um, all right, I suppose I will sit, make the stances over here. Oh, over here. And you were just yes. on the stances. That's right here. Yeah, but it was under actions. Was it? Yeah. Oh, fuck, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Yep, I want... Phoenix? Oh, I just carry that and drop it, I think. Angry Firebird. Did that work? Yeah, it should. I believe it did. Hand in the eye socket. It is not an active effect. Maybe I have to... Oh. Just drag it to the fist as a part. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure I have to go to this one and drag it from here. Done. Alright. I'm pretty sure I have to drag it from there. It's fine, you're good. Um, you are now in stance. Cool. Flurry of blows. Angry is firebird. Yep. And then I'm gonna... Flurry of blows. Oh, I have to... Um, strike. That one. And then I do it a second time, because it's a flurry. Oof. Ooh, well, one of them hits. Oof. I think. Can you still like your hero one point? of the first one definitely hits. Yeah. If you would. I know we've been over this before, but you can't do cold shots to aim for like eyes and shit, can you? You can with the gunslinger because that's their yeah. feet, but you can't yeah. in no, this case. That's fine. No worries. So I'm just. <laughs> um. Yeah. Why not? They're here to be used. I'll take that off and I'll have another crack. Oops. The hero point, I mean. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely better than a one. It is. Hell yeah. So, damage 1d4 plus 2. And then another 1d4 plus 2. I mean, Yay. it's death by a thousand cuts. That's yeah. still 10 damage in one round, bud. It is. Pretty good. Yeah. I'm... Chip it away. But yeah, so you basically come up to the side that's been blinded on. Yeah. And. You see its head sort of turn as you quickly move past it, but being unable to see on that yeah. side, it just sort of goes back to whatever it was doing, and then you just sort of come up and you're like, ka -ka! <laughs> You see all the again, the bitch! Yeah, at least we're keeping the blood more contained too by singeing the wounds. 
means we can like... Ah, yes. This one. <laughs> Must keep all the goodness inside. <laughs> well, yeah, then we can, you know, flail it around like we're and performing some sort of blood some... ritual hey, on all these stone hey, statues. Hey, 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 <laughs> all right. Uh, but yeah, no, it's definitely... Like, it's not bloodied, but you can definitely say you've left some serious marks on it. This, this thing is singed and unhappy. And yeah. I'm right next to it. You are. Mistress Azula. Ooh, mistress. Alright, well, I'm moving up. Just 20 feet. Moving up in the world. Yep. And you can five foot step if you want. I can, I can gobble the scuttle. At the start of your turn, as you start to charge towards it, hearing your loud footsteps, it's going to swing its head around and try and stare at you. Um, Odds or evens? Uh, Odds. Odds? Yeah, so basically it swings around, but it's not used to the fact that its left hand side doesn't work anymore, and it tries to like stare at you with its left eye. Nothing seems to happen. So because she's ended movement next to me, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna goblin scuttle. Cool. Um cool. And yeah, so it stares at you. Nothing seems to happen. Stick it in the other eye. You can't see the other eye, it's on the other side of its head. Stick it straight through. No, ah. well, <laughs> they are connected. So, what you doing? Uh, I don't think I don't have my longs all pulled out because I threw the thing. You can draw action. weapons in a move action as a free action. Okay, like, well, I would like to do that. that you, it's been a thing since like 3.5, and I keep it because it makes sense that as you're moving, you can yeah. pull out a sword. <laughs> it's like, no, have to run, stop, pull out sword. Yeah. Then hit. Trained warriors would be able to draw a sword whilst they're moving. Me, yeah, I can do sense. it, I'm sure as we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if me, the common peasant, can do it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah so fire. you can pull out your sword as you move, that's fine. Um, Striking. So that one, you'll hit it, but you're hitting it on the charred section, and as you slice into it, it's thick hide is quite like hard to get through and it's not going to quite penetrate through it unfortunately. And shield up. Yep. You raise the shield. Cool. Alright. It's turn. It takes moves five feet to the right and then does nothing else. <laughs> ha, you're hilarious. <laughs> it's going to turn around and sort of like basically like face off the both of you at the same time essentially. Ha, I'm on the right side. Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> you're on the, you're on the correct side. <laughs> That's what I mean. The right side, yeah. correct side. Yeah. Um, it's going to this time. It seems to show some kind of like bestial intelligence, realizing that obviously whatever it did the first time didn't work. It's going to stare at you this time with its good eye. Um, oh, so you I, shield? You. I did, but it technically doesn't count as a. Oh, that doesn't, no, doesn't count as a very. Right, so, yeah. yep. Roll me a fortitude save. Ooh, I'm good at those. Yep. Rob, until you roll a one. Exactly. It's fine, don't worry about it. If she gets turned to stone, we get to bathe this lure in blood. <laughs> I'm sure she's used to that anyway. <laughs> Again. Isn't that... Oh, sorry. Foot. Cool. Isn't that just how they bathe? <laughs> okay, so as Wait, this you... thing stares at you and flares its eye green, um, you feel this like energy take over and it like slowly locks your joints and you feel it like it takes hold but you can still move a little bit but you definitely feel sluggish. You are slow. Okay. And then it's going to turn around and chomp at you because it's yours. Uh, so that is a 19 to hit. Uh, guess what, motherfucker? That is your AC. Whoa! It misses. <laughs> nice. His AC is 21. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it chomps out towards you and you're just like, yeah, no, no, thank you. No, no sir. <laughs> no, thank you. All right. I'm trying to reach uh, out. That is its turn. Lucia. Woo. Oh, man. Are you going to just walk forward and trip into the statue as you just head towards your underfray? Well, you're right up next to it, so you can walk past it, though, Travis. Walk past. I know where it is. I can 
probably hear where Azula is. The missile knows where it is at all times. It's like, uh, can I take a bit of time to get myself over there so that I am beside it? What's your move speed? 20. It'll take you two to get over there without having to do any kind of rolls or anything okay. like that. Do that. It'll take you two actions to move over there without any yep. kind of rolls. Yep. Ah, now because I know where it is. Yep. Let's see, I'll draw an axe while moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, what. Let's see, out there and just hook straight up into the underbelly. The thing is large. It's, yes. Yep, no worries. Oh. Um, so it's a, you need to roll a decent, uh, flat. Um, hold on. Blinded is higher. So roll a d20. Even if I know exactly where it is? Yeah, because there's still a chance, even with you hitting it, that you're going to hit it at a point where it's just going to naturally bounce off. Okay. Yeah. You also don't know where the wall is, so you could hit the wall like that. Oh, there's a wall there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I watched the flower bomb hit the wall. Yeah, it's hard to track it by scent because everything smells like chard. 17, charred. if it was just a flat d20. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no, I'm trying to use TFLG. Don't make things. Cool. No. What was it? 17. 17? No, 17's fine. All right. Now, watch me miss. Well, I miss. Thanks so much. No, unfortunately, again, you do hit it in a spot where it would have gone through, but you don't quite hit it with enough force to get it all the way in. Yep. Um, yeah, it's, it's hide quite thick. Indeed. It's a hefty lad. Um, all right, and that is your turn concluded. Success. So, look at Color. me now. Look at me now. <laughs> look at me now, look bitch. <laughs> Get over here! Hire me! Hire me! Cool. Um. Burning hands. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Just make sure you shout out duck first and everything's fine. That way it's that is, yeah. No, just four. <laughs> Fire the hole! The wizard, the wizards. I'm about to be a dickhead. Get out of the way. Ah, but you see, I currently have two fire resistance. Nice, if I roll a one, you'll be fine. Well, that's definitely a hit. Yay! We have a hit. I don't know why it's targeting Luke. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> the game just has a hard on for you so uh, much. I, I probably deserve that. <laughs> this uh, should not Yeah, so another. Did ball of fire just thrown at this thing just lobs over the top of Lucille and into the side of it it lets out another roar of pain but um you're definitely whittling it down yeah, wait, is is that taking... not having a good time at all no um so that's what two actions for you I think yep and then oh it's because I'm selected yeah you're good <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. There is a certain amount of venom. <laughs> cool. Um, and then for my last action, <clears throat> I am going to roll a... Is it deception to be able to aid them to... Or I'm going to spend an action to aid the allies to try and confuse it as to where things are. So, oh, like, you're gonna try and like do an aid to give it. them a bonus. You're gonna have to do an intimidation for that. Intimidation? You basically have yeah, so what you have to do is you have to do an intimidation to basically prove that you're more of a threat than the three things <laughs> around you. Which, look, to be fair, you have done the most damage to it. <laughs> uh, but it is gonna be an intimidation. Which is probably gonna involve me looking at it. I, feel like I mean, yeah. If you just if you just yell and wave your stick off. You actually, can... yeah, I'm gonna fling the fireball, and like at the same time, I'm going to like 
cl- like do it and fling it and then close my eyes and scream at it like I'm the one setting fire to you bitch to try and aid them for their attacks. Okay, but you won't get the plus two if it tries to turn you to stone at any point in your turn. Because you can't, because remember, averting your eyes is an action. Yeah, they got but this. doing the intimidation is also, would be classed as the action because you're aiding them essentially. They got this. Okay, so are you averting your eyes or are you aiding them? No, I'm aiding them. Okay, cool. So, roll the intimidation test. It's only plus two, but we'll see what happens. I I have set fire to it a couple of times. You have now. in fact set fire to it a couple of times. The question is whether it understands that. Oh no, my intimidation's on the plus one. That's fine. It's still true more than my knowledge nature. <laughs> okay. No worries. It's hard to tell at the moment if it's done anything. Roar! Fire. Tiny little couple. Over here, you giant skyly bastard. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just, just using like little prestidigitation ah. sparkles to help with the, like flames. Like, roar! Don't look at me. No worries. I'm over here, but don't look at me. <laughs> Cockro. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to step around that corner here. That'll come here from there. No, you can hit it from there. Sick. It's in range. You gotta remember, this is a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, even when it's like curled around to attack the other guys, it's still yeah, plenty it's, of it. Yeah, it's range. five meters long. You've got a tail you could chew. I'm just making sure. Is he yeah. now in a flanking position? He is with you, so he gets the plus two. Oh, nice. Good. Oh, yeah. I could have done oh, that. Flurry, that flurry that this. this still, I, don't worry, I took that into account for you. It would have made her feel better, nothing <laughs> else. So all these, is, both these have plus two, do they? That is, however, more than enough. 27. Um, okay, so that would be a minus five simply because you set for the... Oh, no, wait, because that's your... Flurry blows. Yeah. So that one hits. As in the second one? Yeah, the second one hits. The first one misses, though. That's fine. Um, yep, so that one's going to do some damage. Yep. I just rolled it. Yep. Yep. Then the second one, which I've already got the yes. negative on. That also hits. Hell yeah. Roll some damage. Cockrun just smashes into this thing with a flurry. A literal flurry of blows. And then the, my last action, I might as well have another crack at it. Oh, you going for round three? Yeah, why not? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, so you just keep slashing into this thing, and it, with the last one, you're not I'm quite proficient warm. enough ah. with your fire, and as you swing towards it, the fire just sort of goes out. You're like, oh no. Oh. <laughs> you hit it, but it just doesn't seem to do it. Hey, it. And then you sort of, well, that's a first. And then you just, ah. oh, okay. No. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> it's okay, guys, it's good. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, this thing is not looking good at the moment. It's oh. got. Scorch marks all over it. Hell yeah. Uh, well, I'm done. Yep. <laughs> Azula. I don't have to move. I've got no shield to raise, so here we go. No worries. So, because you're slowed, you only get two actions this turn. That's how slow it works. Just hit twice. <laughs> <laughs> Now you will get a fortitude save at the end of your turn to try and like remove it, but Yay. it's at the end of your turn. Yeah, that. Good. But that first one swinging into it, this time you hit it, you hit it in the same spot, but this time you put way much more, a lot, a lot more effort into it, and you definitely get in. Get I in, hit damage. something. Congratulations, Yay. you did the thing. <laughs> I hit the thing. Good Roll some me. damage. Yay! Woo! That Yay. do it. Um, yeah, and it, with each swing into this thing, it lets out this guttural, like, gurgling. It's gurgling, but it's not like it's, like, choking on blood or something. It sounds like this is a natural thing it does. Um, but Uh-oh. it's slowly getting deeper and deeper, like, as if it's losing energy. Oh, I thought that was about this. Um, so I second touch. action? I avert my gaze. Oh, okay, I feel yep. a bit weird. Oh. Yep, no worries. <laughs> Fair. And I get to do a fortitude save. So. Yep, so you'll get the fortitude save. Come on, I'm learning these things. What would I'm 
Charlie Truth I am anyway. Oh, oh. oh yeah. And with that, you basically, like, especially averting your gaze, and you sort of take a second and just focus yourself, and you feel whatever effect it was just sort of leaves you after a second, and yeah. all of your joints free up again. Cool. Cool. You're like, yeah, I feel good. I hit something now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good. Yes. You're about to die. <laughs> Uh, okay, this thing. Run! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Stare into a deep vault. Okay, it's gonna stare at you. Oh, you did it. So, roll for what you say. Thank you guys for prepared for me to that was sorry on the screen. Yeah. Actually, no. From this side, you'll be. You won't get the odds or evens. No, because I'm on the right. <laughs> yeah, hand you're side. on the you're on the correct side. <laughs> Look, I was. You informed us that we should be doing eight actions in battle. What did you say? So I'm trying to do eight actions you in are. battle. You're doing very well. You're actually doing very well. <laughs> I'm also assisting. You are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So you see as the the eye flares green for a second, you're like. Oh, brother. And you feel like your joints lock up for a second, and then they just release. I'd like to use my reaction to blow a raspberry at it. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. And then it is going to, after it sees you sort of like free itself, it lets out this sort of low grumble, mm. and it's going to mm. bite towards a Zula. Oh, okay. I think so, it got me, guys. That's a crit. Yeah, it did. You can use your hero point. What's your AC? No, no. My AC is No, no, roll a nat 20. So it's... Oh. So, right, I figured out how nat 20s work, yeah? <laughs> oh, now, now you, now you figured it out. Good. Glad it's now. <laughs> I thought it was just 10 plus. <laughs> so they basically improve the factor of your hit. Yep. So if you normally hit, but you rolled it at 20, it automatically goes to a crit. Okay. If you didn't hit, but rolled it at 20, it hits. Okay. Yeah. So Is then, that how it says it in the rules? That's how yeah. the rules work. So it's not if it, so it's not a 10 over, it's AC as a crit, it's a 20 as a crit. Okay. No, no, no. So if you roll 10 over, it will crits. Yeah. But say you rolled it at 20, but it's AC is like 40. It's still crits. But you get over the 40, but you don't get over the 10. Because you rolled it at 20, it improves that oh, to a crit. Okay. Yeah, but it's the same with nat ones. So if you've got enough of a bonus that you're hitting something, but you rolled a nat one, but you still hit, yeah, it technically <clears throat> fails. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, cool, cool, yeah. cool. cool. Yeah. Right. yeah. So if you're anyway. like a high level character with a plus thirteen to their hit, and well, then... no, like I'm talking about if you've got like a high level character that's got plus thirty, that's auto critting peasants, and rolls a nat one, it goes from an auto crit to a just normal hit. Will it be an automatic miss on that? No, 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 because right. so because they're yeah, automatically no... critting, it goes from a crit to a normal hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can't ever miss at that stage. Yeah. <laughs> Even on that one, they don't miss. They can't miss by accident. They can yes. miss on purpose. They can miss on purpose, but they can't miss on accident. Yeah. Right. If they're high enough above things. No, that makes sense. Yeah, which makes sense. Because if you've got like a level 20 character fighting a level 1 peasant, <laughs> there's no way they're ever going to miss. It's like, oh no, I missed you. Oh no, <laughs> I missed again. Purpose. Oh yeah. no, you hit me slightly. Your power yeah. is too much. Oh, Which like made yeah. no sense in D&D, because you can have a level 20 fight like a level 2, mm -hmm. and they can legitimately roll with intent to kill and miss. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> anyway. Um, so it's turn, it's going to bite at you. So. I assume you're raising your shield, yes? No, uh, shield. Okay. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. But, oh. Um, so I don't have a shield, basically. Oh, okay. She didn't even see it coming. So that's going to be 28 damage. I'm down, guys. <laughs> yes. So, I go... Yep, yeah, so it basically lunges forward and just chunks you in the middle. And you hear some snapping noises come from your right as Azula That's probably lets out a little bit of a cry of surprise and pain, I would assume, yeah? Oh, yeah. 
and then you hear the sound of heavy armor crumpling to the ground. Ah. Oh, I've been there. Good at dying one. Dying one, okay. I just love putting that effect on people. Because it's just... <laughs> just, oh, I have all of these things. <laughs> and... Okay. We'll see you. I know where this thing is now. You do? Let's hit it with an axe. You do? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm zoomed out now. I'm so watching I'm the screen go, you're uh, dead! You're yep. dying! There's a difference. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can do it. Yep, you're on the right page. <sighs> oh, yep, go. 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 Get him. Watch go me get him. not succeed. Good. Ah, but you get plus two for flanking. Aww. Ooh. Still bad. Okay, so you swing in to hit it, but you hit it at an angle and the back just bounces off the first one. It's like, ah, it's like, alright, readjust. Yep. Ha. Huh. Swing again, hopefully. That one? One. Yeah. Come on. Not completely terrible. Not completely terrible! But not good. But not good. Plus two. Problem is because you're swinging in harder, and it's the second hit. It's basically you're, you're hitting it, but again, this one hits with enough at the right angle, but it's not quite enough force to yep. get in through the air. Uh, I'm not tall enough to reach a point where it's probably vulnerable, like the face that's bleeding everywhere. Not really. No. And <laughs> unfortunately, the underside that you were aiming for is not as soft as you were expecting. It's like this is not how lizards work. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I was lied to! Lied to, healed up. Yep, no worries. Uh, Kara. You've just watched as Azul has basically just been bitten around the midsection and fallen to the ground. Then you should be blind too. Oh, she I is in fact blind. I am blind. I'm, I'm pressing on Kara so I can see things. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. It's metagaming. <laughs> Injured, does this thing look? Oh, it's pretty injured. All right. Like, you can see one of its legs is basically hanging limp. Um, it's got. You would pretty, pretty sure from the last time you saw its left hand side, there are scorch marks basically from its head all the way along to basically its back. Mm -hmm. um, on the right hand side, there's one good shot on its neck where it's bleeding pretty profusely. Like, this yeah. thing is. Pretty beat up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim for try and down it, mm -hmm. as opposed to running for this, um, the healing. Attack. No worries. That's, That's gonna hit. Good. Good. Yes. Yeah. Roll damage. That hit. The lizard explodes. Unfortunately, it doesn't explode. No, it falls down. No, it doesn't fall down either. Um, but another hit onto the right hand side. Um, it, it, you see it like it crumples forward a little bit and then sort of gets back up. Like it's definitely hurting. Like there's not much left in it. Um, it's probably at the point where it's looking around trying to find a way out. Mm -hmm. um, and as it's looking around, roll your fortitude save. Eleven. Eleven? Mm -hmm. Alright, as that happens, you see its eyes flash as it locks eyes with you for a second. Um, is this, like, at the end of my turn? Would it be? Because I haven't finished my turn. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, so... At the end of your turn, you get slow. Cool, so okay. Fine. Before I end my turn... <laughs> ah. Take three damage. <laughs> Is that just magic missile? It's <laughs> magic. It's, it's, it's magic missile lie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's magic. It's minor magic missile. It's a focus spell. Okay. It's just have 
one d four plus one damage. Okay, no worries. Just <laughs> yeah, have some more damage. Yep. This top line. Okay, yep. And sort of as it flares its eye at you, you sort of like throw this dart it's at it. It's just like, um, and I'll be like, because it's like aiming at my eye, I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to try and aim it at the eye that it like just looked at me. Because it's, yep. it's that moment of eye contact with like, oh shit. No worries. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't hit it in the eye, but it does hit it in the head and it does let out that sort of squeal of pain. And yeah, it's really not looking in any good shape. Uh, uh, just cause and, yeah, as that happens, <laughs> you feel all your joints start to freeze up a bit. It's effects starting to take hold of me. You're not frozen. You're just slow. No, well, I'm like, oh, got me with the gaze. <laughs> Go with the what? Got me with the gaze. Gaze. <laughs> Is it plural? I'm <laughs> <laughs> These damn gays just coming at me all fabulous like. Cockrot. So, how many actions is it to feed to my health potion? Is it one to pull it out, one to feed? Well, you could, on, to move over there, you could pull it out as a, yeah. like, it'd be the same as like pulling out a, like, right. a sword. Well, because I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> I've in fact been where you have been. That's not fun. Dad not fun at all. Dad not fun. <laughs> You'd probably see a Zool like that, and there would be like these. Oh it's weird. It's like flashbacks, but you don't see anything. It's like you feel so, things, yeah. but you okay. don't see anything. Yeah. yeah, you can have emotional flashbacks without yeah. visually seeing things. I'm. I. That's. It's it's I assume. Yeah. <laughs> In this case, it probably is. Trauma triggers. There we go. Yep. She's dead. She's dead. Um, inventory. I have to go actors and myself because I have two potions inventory. Uh, healing potion minor. It's going to take one of those off. How much does that heal? Uh, so you minor. just it red be. liquid. 1d8 hit points. Oh, uh, Roll it up here. Yes, please. And you press me. If you click on, so you see in there where it has the 1d8 hit points with like yeah. a white box around it. If you click on that, it should roll. Yeah. Well, yeah. But then if you click the use healing potion. And then if, you press, if you press it on me, if you press me. If I say, oh, because I can select. Yeah. Um, there. Do the thing. Yay! Did that work though? Did that, did you, doesn't that bring you back up? And it'll do. Oh, did you heal? You didn't heal, so. Because I didn't get any hit points, so. Don't show you. Yeah. yeah. You know what would be real useful in this battle? Using that hammer that you have. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> Uh, you're prone, you're off guard. That's correct. I did think cool. About that All right. So that's two actions. It is two actions. Yes. All right. Um, Flurry of blows. Yeah. I'm <laughs> getting there. And then you just sort of quickly jump back off. And <laughs> let's go. <laughs> uh, oh, cool. Punch it right in the tongue. Hey, wait, wait. You've got a silk pillowcase. Yeah. Stick it over its head. <laughs> No, it's my, it's my good pillowcase. No, you I stick it over it. his head and use the like, handle to ride it. I stole that fairy That's not very cuck around of you. That's gone so well so far. <laughs> I, I forgot I had it, to be honest. Next time. Uh, <laughs> strike. It's no longer flanked, though. It is, in fact, no longer flanked. Uh, that first one is unfortunately going to miss. And that second one is unfortunately going to miss. Yeah, fair enough. I tried. Yep. You hear a point? No, I don't. No, already oh, used it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Azor! Run! <laughs> uh, um, You're up, step at the yeah. side. Make it regret. Everything hurts. <laughs> Literally everything hurts. Zenbayari, please assist. Well, it's. Oh. Das, lay on hands. Lay on hands. Yeah. Well, good. Yay. Yeah. Um, 
No, that's fine. Just click on the heal button and shoot automatically heal onto you. Yeah, there you go. Alright. That's significantly better than where we were a moment ago. Yep. There's a white flash of light as you hold over yourself and you watch as the bleeding slows down quite considerably. Ah, we're also in a battle and I healed myself and there are extra things for that. Okay. Um, no, because it's myself, it's not an ally. That's unfortunate. If I healed you guys, you get extra things. Then why didn't you do that? I'm uh, selfish over here. <laughs> You're a Miss Selfish. <sighs> I wish I was. It's fine. That's why he misses it. Okay. Me. And focus stuff is only one action. Using your focus thing, uh, using your focus spend is only the one action. Cool. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, standing up. No, just stay there and hack at its ankles. You mean the leg that's kind of hanging limp? Exactly. Well, there's, there's a couple of those at the moment. Uh, it's just, he ain't doing too well. We've severed a few She. Days. She. Uh, eggs. <laughs> I... I'm gonna stand up. Yep. And put my shield up. No worries. Cause it's just backed away like I told you. It's fine. Uh, okay. And right shield. You are no longer prone. I need to protect my eyes. gets off guard. Cool. All right. Basilisk. Um, it is going to. Hold on a second. Does standing up count as a form of movement? Yeah. Does that mean he can take his goblin scuttle? He could if he wanted to. Oh, because it says if they end their movement next to me. It's a form of movement. It's ending next Hell to yeah, me. Hell yeah, he flanked again. <laughs> it said he... Yeah, no, 100%. It's, yeah, it's, it's an ending of, you, it's an end of movement I, next to you. Yeah. I didn't think standing up counted as movement, but it's no, no, movement, it's, doesn't it's it? No, it's half of your movement to stand up, so right. it's a move action to stand up. Cool, sick. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. And if you're not moving any further, then it's the end of your uh, end yep. of the movement. So, yep. mm -hmm. yeah, sick. <laughs> Just scuttles on over. Yeah, get that in you. Scuttles on back. <laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> uh, okay, basilisk. It is going to. Um, it's going to snap at you. Because you keep moving around in front of it and it doesn't like that. So. That'll hit. That, that's going to hit, you reckon? Come on. Come yep. on. All right, so we'll roll some damage. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be a 12 damage. Oh, I'm still up. That's good. Oh, actually, can I just click this? Yeah. If you click on yourself and then damage, it'll allocate it to you. Yeah. And then it is going to swing around and try and focus on you. What? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it focuses around and like you see a like you'd probably all see a flash of green and then nothing happens. <laughs> it's like, it's like, right. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. Did you want my <laughs> so was like because you probably see this flash of green through it, and you're like, <laughs> I know where you are now. <laughs> yeah. You can in fact see the face. <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Roll your attack. Ah. Eventually. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Do the third. Watch me miss. I, I believe. I Get believe I'll up. miss Get too. Yeah. Unfortunately, again, you do hit it, but it slides off the back of the head. I can do it again. You can, in fact, do it again. Bizarre. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Plus two, plus two, plus two. No. no. Unfortunately. No. Shame. Not enough to get through it. Shame. Again, you, you are hitting it, but not quite enough force to get through the hide. It's like, why are you so leathery? Leathery. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, fair. I know where it is now. No worries. Uh, Kara. So you two actions. Two actions. Wait. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's wrong. It's alright. Mm. I was busy. You were busy? Yeah, recovering and stuff. And the whole point of me putting the shield up is so I can block it when it attacks other people. But I was busy. So <laughs> I was meant to do it when it attacked someone else. So well, I'm not near you anymore, though. Hey, that's true. To be fair. Yeah, because they've got to be next to you. Yeah. That? Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to do it with yeah, them. Okay. Way. Also, you did just have the shit kicked out of me. <laughs> <laughs> In that moment, 
I don't think Azula's going to be too worried about trying to like just jump in front of that again. <sighs> I am actually. Yeah, you <laughs> it's can't kind blame, of my thing. <laughs> you can't blame Princess Sparkles for what's in your armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was all you. <laughs> <sighs> yes, I'll clean that as well. All right. Cut off. Finish it off. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that seems about right. Come on, you're a heavy hitter, Kara. You've been the one. You're actually Lucky getting the hits. Oh, I love Unfortunate. I helped. Yeah, so you swing it. It hits it on the back, but most of it seems to like hit just on the top of the spine, and most of the flames mm -hmm. seem to like bounce off. Ricochet. It doesn't seem to do the same sort of penetrating hit like you've been getting on it. Oh, that's fine. Um, roll me a fortitude too. How fortuitous of you. Why don't lose my thing again? Why isn't it? Should we, why can't there just be a minimize button? A little bit, right there, just a little minimize button. Because that would be too easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, yep, that would yes! Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Alright. And with that, you feel the joints that were locked up instantly get loosened up a bit. Just like crack my knuckles because I'm like that's what was throwing me off the spell. Yeah. No worries. Cockrum. I am Legion. I am Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot what I was going to say halfway through. I'm like ah oh, fuck this. Is so I'll do my classic. Thing. Oh yeah, it's good. Oh no. Good. That was that. That was a one and. Uh... That's not a one anymore. Yeah, no, I kicked it. Out. <laughs> okay, oh, so yes. the one is very much going to miss. Uh, the 17 is again also not going to do enough. With the plus two? Because they're flanks. Alright, my second, okay. second uh, action. I swear I've hit it on less than a 19. Nope. Okay. Uh, the bags of flour were because they don't have to penetrate through the arm. And my last action. Just go. <laughs> you just spamming I'm not into this thing. I'm not feeling great. See, the problem is you're focusing on the left hand side, and at this point, that is just char. Oh. There is nothing left to burn, and it just doesn't seem to care anymore. It's focusing on the other two on the other side. Just keep digging. Yep. Just keep digging. Eventually, you'll get the real flesh. Yeah, I'll, I'll either come out the other side and be able to hit the other side that way, or I'll hit something vital. Yeah, no Just keep digging. Just go in through the mouth that's weaker on the inside. No worries. Alright. Azula. Okay! I mean, you're no longer dying. I am not it's dying. It's probably a little bit of blood. Alright. Uh, swing! Yep, yeah, no worries. Oh. Come on, sweetheart. Well, remember. I in the mouth and through the brain. You oh. can do it. In the brain, out the mouth. Is that the order goes in here, then in the brain, then out, then out. Uh, and takes the brain with it. I want a hero point this. I want to. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, wait, a hero point you can use to add a d6 to a roll instead of just straight up re rolling it. It still wouldn't work. What d6? What? It was a. Wow. 17. Yeah, you got a oh. 17 total, plus yes. your 2 is a 19, so if you add... Well, oh, she's taking she's the not flanking it. No, no, but the plus 6? So you... No, oh, d6. Oh, a plus a d6. Yeah. Yeah. There's a good chance that you probably Yeah, there is a good chance. Alright. Just, like, Sorry. basically 3 or up, I think. Pretty sure you want to 3 or up, so you got 50-50. My math could be off. <laughs> Slash. Yeah. Slash at the start, not yeah. after roll. Boris? <laughs> Boris? Boris is a good bear. <laughs> Boris is good bear. Okay, yes. That's yes. gonna do it. I got him. Have I married a bear? Uh, Boris? Come on, uh, eight. What is my life? Alright, roll some damage. That's me too. Yay! Seven. That's gonna do some damage to it. I did something. You um, did. Okay. The last time I hit it, it hit me back very hard. Um, you swing <laughs> into it and slice the sword back along it and you hear as it lets out this almost faint gurgling noise and you slice across the back of its head. It's not dead. But you can see like 
you basically cut down to its spine where its head connects to the. Yeah. Oh, Lucille, could have I think I'm drenched in a lot of blood. <laughs> so that's your first action. Good, we can bring yeah. you out over the people. <laughs> <laughs> Get their help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, shield up, look away. You good. Okay, shield up, look away. Oh, okay. No worries. Bird eyes. Yeah, bad eyes. Yeah. Okay, so. It, realizing the situation that it's in, doesn't want to be here anymore. Ah, oh, none of us are soldiers. You can uh, attack that's as far as it gets. <laughs> Floxy, it's your turn. Oh, actually, sorry, hold on. It's. Floxy can do something. With that plus two to attack. Yeah. Floxy! Shit on his head. <laughs> Confuse the senses. <laughs> I may have plans for Floxy to carry Princess Sparkles to carpet bomb people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it's gone, gone. You oh. basically watch as it just, all six of the remaining legs that are able to move just start moving and it just flees deeper into the cave. Has it left a blood pile? Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. We should probably go finish that off. Oh, yeah. That's, like, that's okay. I know where it is. Yeah. But we could get back up. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I know where it is. I know where it will be. I know, but I'm thinking about the statues going back up. That's why I said I know where it will be. Uh, Future tense. Cool. That's yeah. a linguistics thing that I don't know about. Right. Yeah. The wizard told me about it. Didn't make any sense. What are you doing? <sighs> Suck. Oh, you would oh, know oh. there's not enough blood on the ground to be able to resurrect the petrified mm-hmm. individuals here. You basically need, you know, like a bowl that big of to be able to like drench it. Drench something. Has to be proper yeah. covered. Mm-hmm. We don't have enough. Ah oh, damn. Okay. Right. Let's go. I mean as soon as it's my turn, I'm gone, so whatever. Yeah. Whose turn is it? How does Who one get yeah. a tax so. opportunity? Huh? Is that a fee? Is it's it? a fee you can take. I'm sick of things running away from me. <laughs> See. All right. See. Foo, foo. See. Foo. Flower bag. <laughs> it was very effective. Are you gonna go smack it in the face? I may not even need to do that. Just grab the uh, the ass end of the the flower bag and just foof into the air. Where are you? Do- where are you doing that? Not here. Okay, where are you going? Ah, so, uh, I'm assuming I'll be leading them in the direction that it went. Uh, I'm pretty sure we all saw it. Where it wait, roughly where it's gone. Yeah. That it's one. gone. Uh, you can't see the walls. I took this away. Oh, you took the I'm only wearing a blindfold, I'm not actually blind. Yeah. But we're in the dark with no torch. Right. Oh. Uh, excuse me. There's the a torch right up there. there that the runs for all. Yeah. It's almost as if someone thought ahead. I know, but didn't it get eaten? No, anyone. so there's the ever burning torch, which hasn't actually been eaten. It was just okay. the actual thing, right. and then there was a second torch that Tarkran threw up further up, which is guttering like it's probably close to going out, but it hasn't gone out yet. When he was yeah. like, "There's snakes in this cave." <laughs> yeah, see, I helped. You actually did. I, I'm helping. Pick up the torch. Sorry, axe down. Pick up torch. Right. Wedge into the shield. Thing, or that way, maybe because it's got hand straps. It's not hot, it doesn't burn hot, does it? No, yeah, no. completely cool flame. Nifty, yeah, yeah. right. Let's go kill a lizard. All right, right. where to from here, ladies and gentlemen? Ah, sad north ish. Yeah, this. so you can sense it this direction. Actually, do people want to use the healing potions first? I mean, we're still in combat order, aren't we? Yeah, you guys are still in combat yeah, order. so... So, Lucille, it is your turn. Is it, is it, well, I do two movements up that way, and then put the blindfold down. Yep, so you can get to, like, here. Because mm-hmm. you got 40 feet total, don't you? Yep. Yep. So you get to there, and that's as far as you can get. Cool, I can't see me. I will let you. I will let you, Lucille. Lucille is here. Yeah. Um, hold on. 25. Ah, alright, now we're good. 
Can you move again? You get, you get to there. Yep. And then I blind myself. Oh, sure. Cool. Yeah. Alright. And then you blind yourself again? Yep. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get me. It's just up here on the left. Cool. Alright. Uh, Kara. Move it down so I can see the map. I'm gonna head up to, like, I'm running off. Okay, this so. Thing. <laughs> that's 20 feet to there. Mm hmm. So is my movement 20 or 25? Um, I'm sorry. Probably 25 because you're not wearing something heavy. So mine's 25. But I don't know if you get extra because you're a monk. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah. No, so it's 25. 25. Okay, yep. so 25. Mine's 20. Yeah, heavy. Yep. That fat. I mean, so yes, yep, so heavy. heavy. Yep, and then... <laughs> now I saved your ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. And then from here I'll move up closer to... Yeah. Lucille. So it's 10 to the base. 25 meters there. I, I can't see what's up there, so move me up to that 10 feet point where Floxy is. So then I can see where I want to move the other 15 feet. Can you? Yeah, I'm trying. There we go. Alright, and you said it was up there on the left. Up okay. oh, and left. That'll, you... that'll weigh roughly. Alright. Cool. Um, and then from here to, to the right of Lucille is. That's that 30. 25 is there. Okay. <clears throat> yep, move me to there. There is 25. Oh, and I can see it. Yep. You've got one action left. Blind yourself. Boink. <laughs> no, my eyes. <laughs> no, Jesus. Um. Hey, Floxy. Get him. Go fuck him up. So, Floxy is gonna. Fly in and try and scratch out the other eye. Okay. Um, one so. solid snap. I mean, it's. Hit points. That's um, 40 feet to get in. Yeah. She won't be able to get out. So that's fine? Uh, nah, we got this. It's fine. Don't worry. No, no, go back. Go back. Come back. Do you want her to come over to you? Um. She's there at the moment. I'm sorry. She's clicking on things. I didn't mean to ask for a measure for you. Alright, I am going to get Floxy. So for her two actions, she is going to fly up this way. Mm -hmm. And then is going to try and distract the creature. So it's, she's going to be high up, but she's going to try and distract it, essentially to aid our comrades if they come in to attack. Does that make sense? So come get a snack. Come okay. on, come back this way. Come over here, I dare you. So she'll have to roll intimidation on it. Mm -hmm. Roll intimidation. Will Plus two. Intimidation or de deception? No, intimidation. Okay. It's the same bonus either way. Yeah. yeah. Just like, hey, look, a distraction. Yeah, beep, that works. All right. Cock run. Right. <laughs> so, 10 feet will get me there. Yeah. I assume we're going something like this, Five, yes. 10. That's 15. Yeah, that's 15. That's 55 feet to basically get... Can I see it from where I am, or is there a big old rock in the way? There's a big old rock in the way. Alright, so that's 10, uh, 15, 20, 25, so that's one movement, and I can't end with seals. I'll go to there. Can I throw some? Oh, actually, you know, fuck, we're, go we're small, we can enter the same space. No, you can't. Oh, what a chip. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to. So, I can get over there, I can hit it twice. Yeah. yeah. So, you can use all your movement to get to it and then flow blows. <laughs> there we go. Because I wasn't sure if darts would be better or if punching it would be plausible. Okay. 
See, it's it's just booking it. It's trying to get away. Nah, son. Nah, son. It ain't happening. They're big. Water roll two ones, and with all four of my hit points, die. It's not a one. And then my last one is that. Why do I get it? That's not going to be good, is it? Is Floxy distracting it enough to aid him? Darts. I should have just thrown darts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you use her reaction. Oh, is that how like she put it? You use the reaction to be able to give the aid. Yeah, yeah. Floxy is trying to okay. like. You will first. get a plus one. No, I think it's not going to hit it though. No. So unfortunately, not enough. Yep. Well. But we know that that's a possibility. I'm about to be down again. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Sorry, bud. Azor. That's right. I should have thrown darts. It is. Oh your god. Turn. So I get up and I'm like, bap, bap. Oh, regret. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing nest. It's happening again. <laughs> So, well, that was a that's, round. That's, that's a third movement there. Hang on, uh, I, have to, I have to quickly read But you still got ten more movement, so you can get. I don't want to do three. Okay, so three movement gets you there because second diagonal of the turn is ten feet, not five feet. <coughs> that's a okay. shame. Yeah. Okay. No, that's so close. That's a shame. Um, and then, you got anything you can throw at it? It's like a flail that you could have grabbed from me as you ran past. You could grab it from her as you ran past. Throw your sword. I was hoping to take a healer version actually. <laughs> so do that. You have no choice. Uh, like cut her on, take the bite. Yep. See, it's dragging two legs, I'm dragging, oh like, nah, motherfucker. <laughs> I've had enough of this shit. No, son, we ain't done with you yet. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> Come round the corner, there's another nest, and no, so I just sort of freaks Yay. me the fuck out. Good job. Big thing, big nest, it's just me. Like, oh god, it's happening again. Did you heal? Not yet. What? No, she uh, healed. That was uh, healed. There you go. Okay. Cool. If you're, if you're going down, Kakron, I'm. Got my last thing ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> I will return to favor. <laughs> All right. That's my turn. That's your Watch turn. Watch it attack me twice and get All two right. critical hits. This guy, as he's, as you've come up behind it, it's going to turn around and try and try. look you directly in the eye. Odds or evens? Uh, evens. It's always even. So it is going to be enough. So it is going to look at you with the correct side. Right, so, roll fortitude save. I have to do it on the computer. But here we Fortitude, uh, roll. Oh, uh, and roll. <coughs> Plus eight, I believe that you is. Can. Plus seven. That is, uh, more than enough. <laughs> yeah. Maintain yeah. eye contact. <laughs> and then it is going to... Flee further in. Fucking do it, I dare you, son. Do it. And you watch as it climbs up on top of this sort of odd sort of. You've got dark vision, so you can see it. It's this sort of five foot raised. It almost looks like a dais, but it's being clawed out of natural yeah. stone. Surrounded by stone bodies? What's no. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, wait, I I'm might like, put a bunch of snow bodies in there. Ignore me. <laughs> no, it carved those. Um, yes, lovingly. <laughs> like a master craftsman. Uh, Lucy, 
Is that how you see things? It's like, blindfold. Oh. Yup. <laughs> ah, I can see you! Yeah. It's like, so, it's gone up. No, it's, yeah. it's basically a little bit higher. Okay. It's not like it's in the roof. Yep. Yeah. All right. It is this direction. Yeah. Oh, that direction is safe. Okay. Uh, move me up to uh, 20 feet in the general direction of there. need to say like both hands just whoop yeah because it's open on one end yeah i i i, I, I got you fan oh boy so all right and grab the uh, second flower so we're gonna do a strength test or athletics first your choice uh strength yeah because i can do that will i let you Oh, you've got an armor check penalty. So, yeah, no, it, it won't be any different because you'll get the armor check penalty on the strength test anyway. So, just oh. roll the athletics. Because right, so it'll take it into account. Okay, it's yep. just a flat 20. Yeah. Just roll the athletics because that'll be taking everything into account. You're the one with the computer. Yeah, but you press the button to make it like you're working. <laughs> I forgot that athletics because I think I should just click on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're probably gonna, not going to make it the whole way. It'll spread out in the cloud. But exactly right. So the next thing we're going to need is a ranged attack. Ooh, I can do that. So do the d20 and add your dexterity. You keep closing the character sheets. I like seeing that. Yes. There's, there's a second screen, a second <laughs> It's just going to be a flat d20 with the... d20 with your dexterity modifier. Yeah, so d20 plus one. All right. Well, I can just hit the number one. That'll do it. Thanks. Why can't we just hit number one? So because we saved it as They've a set up a macro, which basically... I can show you how to do it if you want. Yeah. Which is fine. I could, but I can't be bothered. You guys oh. press it and we'll, I'll figure it out. But... Nine. <laughs> okay, so I got the same roll twice. Oh no, pancakes for breakfast. Wait, that doesn't count. That's not an eight. That's not an eight. All right. <laughs> so that's a nine. <laughs> it is this way, and then hits. You're gonna throw it and then accidentally hit the corner and it just all goes <laughs> off in your face. How big how big of a bag of flour was it? Oop, ignore that. Just in something. I think it was like a ten pound bag of flour. So it's about a kilo. Ten pounds. It's five kilograms. Oh five kilos. Yeah. Okay. Minus the So five kilos. So it's probably about three kilos now. Three kilos left. left. Okay. So we're gonna say it's about that much. <coughs> Cool. There you go. <laughs> um, does moving break my stance? No. 
Well, I'm pretty sure that cloud just fucking ignited. Because <laughs> his hands are on fire. Are your hands constantly on fire? Is that and that's what it says here? Whilst in the stance, it's just flaming fingernails. Oh, that's unfortunate for you. Oh, actually, <laughs> nah, it's just outside. Um, K. One of those eggs, though. One of those right eggs. on the edge. That's fine. Roll. I need you to roll. One d four. Take three points of fire damage. Oh! Wait, I have fire resistance too, so I take one point of damage? Is yes. that how that works? Yeah, that's how that works. That's still a quarter of my remaining health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as the back hits over there, you see it just spread out and it gulps Cockrite, and then a moment later there's this little, like, and it just chokes outwards in this like slow, it's like the slowest chain reaction you've ever seen. Um, <laughs> yeah, good. <coughs> oh, I just have to double check that I do in fact have two. Fires. Yeah, no, you do, because I remember you say it all the time. And then, yeah, when you're about to get blasted by burning it. One is passive, and then I get an extra one from the from the. Oh, nice. So cool. it is two. We did cook one of those eggs, by the way. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. But we might be coming oh, back for that it. That almost put me down. So <laughs> that's my three. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, that'll be your three. Fuck. All right, Kara. You've just seen Kara explode. <laughs> Stop <that. laughs> oh. oh, I've got a headache from laughing. Oh, I'll try not to laugh. I mean, I just need to be able to see it, but I don't think I'll. Not with twenty-five. That'll probably. So, Don't you share vision with the fox? No. Oh, I can see there. it from. You can see it from there. Cool. Alright. Shoot a spell. Burning. Produce flames. Is there any flame essence in the air? Like, is there yes. still. No. 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 It's all exploded with cockroach. <laughs> you ruined my pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined all our pancakes. I knew you like your pancakes burnt. God damn it, Lucille. I'm not pancakes. Right. How far away is it from me? Uh, it is oh, it's currently 20, 20, 20, 20, 25. 25. Yeah, beautiful. Oh. Tactically, it was a sound idea. I mean, oh. if you hadn't rolled subpar, that's gonna hit. Awesome. Roll some damage. <laughs> Just max out. All right. And with that, yeah! yeah. You just sort of quickly move over, grabbing your produce flame and swing it in. And as you see this thing like flinching back from the explosion, it sort of like turns around and you see it's about to flare its eye to like try and petrify you. And the ball hits it in the eye oh. and you see it hit go in and then like flames flares out the other side. Nice. It's at that moment I remember, damn, I wonder if it would have been good magical components. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see it like sort of stands there for half a second before it just sort of crumples and falls off the other side. Stop. Hey, where'd it go? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, he's like, I think it's dead now, Lucille. Oh no, look, there's a giant skeleton there! There is, and a bunch of eggs. And that is where the story ends for this episode. Thank you for joining us on this part of our adventure. Stay tuned for more adventures next time, and don't forget to spread the word.